strategy officer has to make sure that the long term plans of the company and the short term execution are aligned okay. to me that is the only thing you have to make sure <laughs> and second very critical thing is capital allocation capital mm -hmm. kahan jana chahiye aur kahan nahi jana chahiye hmm very important because everybody will want more and more money yeah. everybody will have a favorite initiative which will become the next billion dollar thing <laughs> yeah <laughs> एंड uh, वो झगड़ा कैसे सॉल्व होगा बिकॉज कैपिटल इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी फाइन सो हाउ डू यू प्रायोरिटाइज किसको मिलना चाहिए किसको नहीं मिलना चाहिए टूडे इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट स्पेशल एपिसोड ऑफ फिगरिंग आउट बिकॉज आई गेट टू स्पीक टू वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट एंजल इन्वेस्टर्स ऑफ माई न्यू स्टार्टअप ही इन्वेस्टेड इन मी एंड वाई डिड ही इन्वेस्ट इन मी इज समथिंग विच यू गोन गेट टू नो बाई द एंड ऑफ दिस एपिसोड बिकॉज आई हैव आस्ट हिम एग्जैक्ट क्वेश्चन अबाउट what does he look for in a startup founder before he invest he was one of the senior most partners at mckinsey india and he's right now the chief strategy officer at upl toshan is one of the finest brains i've ever hosted on figuring out we spoke about ki ek startup ko grow ne ke liye kya kya cheeze chahiye स्टार्टअप ग्रो कैसे होता है सी का रोल क्या होता है सी का रोल क्या होता है सी का रोल क्या होता है चीफ स्ट्रैटेजी ऑफिसर का रोल क्या होता है ये सारे फंक्शंस क्या होते हैं इनके अंडर हम लीडरशिप टीम्स कैसे बना सकते हैं और स्टार्टअप को अपनी बहुत तेजी से आगे कैसे बढ़ा सकते हैं वी हैव स्पोकन अबाउट सो मेनी ऑफ दीज थिंग्स फ्रॉम द लेंस ऑफ समबडी हु इज वर्क ऑन मल्टीपल स्टार्टअप्स बट नॉट ओनली फ्रॉम द लेंस ऑफ द बिजनेस we have also spoken about every business analogy in regards to sports ki sports se kya kya seekh sakte ho aur apna business kaise bada sakte ho aur bahut sari baatein you need to watch this episode till the end because this is one of the genuine hidden gems of india you must have not heard about him but i promise you once you hear him you'll never stop speaking about him so make sure that you watch this episode till the end and please let me know in the comments during the podcast itself that what are the points which stands out for you so yeah on this whole murphy's law so the most successful you know sports person in olympics Take a guess. One people say Michael Phelps. Yeah, Because I was he, just going to say Michael, Michael Phelps. Phelps. Because Michael Phelps has twenty-eight medals. Yeah, like he has more medals than most countries. Yeah, uh, together and so on. But Michael Phelps won most of those medals. You know, two Olympics. Okay. So very yeah. short span of like you know eight years. Usain Bolt won in three Olympics. Yeah. So all his uh, uh, triple that he used to mm. win. But there is somebody who's won in five Olympics. Five. Five. फाइव ओलंपिक्स सो स्टार्टेड ईयर वन देन चार साल बाद उसके चार साल बाद उसके चार साल बाद उसके चार साल बाद ओके तो द काइंड ऑफ एफर्ट कंसिस्टेंसी डिसिप्लिन दैट रिक्वायर्ड अ डिफरेंट लेवल दैट सर स्टीवन रेडग्रेव ही इज अ ब्रिटिश रोवर ओके मोस्ट सक्सेसफुल मतलब डिपेंडिंग ऑन हाउ यू मेजर सक्सेस ऑफ एन ओलंपियन दिस गाइज लाइक एट अ डिफरेंट लेवल नाउ ही सेड विद अ थर्ड टाइम जो व्हेन ही वन द फॉर द ब्रिटिश टीम he and there was another guy called matthew pinsent okay. uh, with team redgrave both of those were they were been partners so matthew was not there for the fifth olympic but steve went on to also do that to unko they were discussing ki saying ki kaise you know we won three times they were still pushing very hard and others around them were saying ki yaar aap teen baar to jeet gaye ho बस करो अभी ठीक है आप आप जीत जाओगे आप आप तो जीतना ही है ना आपको तो क्यों वाई आर यू सेइंग लेट्स लुक एट यू नो हाउ द रोइंग टेक्निक विल बी और बहुत सारी चीज़ें वो देख रहे थे तो आपको सब पता है आप इतना टेंशन क्यों उसे बोला नहीं जब मैं पहली बार जीता था ना वो मेरा टाइमिंग देखो और जब थर्ड टाइम हम जीते हैं ना वो टाइमिंग देखो जो फर्स्ट टाइम जो हम गोल्ड जीते थे ना वी वुड नॉट इवन है फिफ्थ इन द थर्ड ओलम्पिक्स दट यू वन सो द लेवल्स आर गोइंग अप सो ही सेड what i want to do for the fourth olympic is let's assume murphy's law strikes at its worst to us matlab matlab kya said everybody write down what can go wrong hmm. likho jo lagta hai people wrote things like because there were four of them in that event that coxwain or whatever that event is called so all four of them wrote things like my mother dies one day before the olympics hmm. like okay because if you are सच अ क्लोज डेथ इज हैपनिंग देन मेंटली वोट मेंटली तुम कैसे कंपीट करोगे 
uh, and somebody said ki food poisoning last night i said now there were like several excuses they will run into like 20 pages so he said now what we will do is we'll say this is murphy's law at its best jab nahi chahiye worst possible moment pe your girlfriend is going to tell you honey it's over yeah something is going to go wrong let's simulate everything and they literally step by step they said tomorrow is the event you've been told your mother is dead he made a funeral happen in the sense and but every it was everything else was real except there was no uh, dead person but it the emotion seeing with that emotion that your mother is dead your breakup has happened how do you perform and he was they tried to measure the impact of everything that goes wrong he said ko bakwas khana diya taki wo vomiting kare जाओ देखो अभी कैसा परफॉर्म कर रहे दैट्स द ओनली वे एंड दे वन द फोर्थ टाइम एंड द फिफ्थ टाइम सो मर्फीज लॉ इज इज गोइंग टू हैपन एवरी टाइम बट दिस इज दिस इज एक्सट्रीम लेवल ऑफ चैंपियनशिप बिहेवियर इन अ पर्सन एथिक व्हाई वुड यू नॉट लेकिन अगर जीतना है तो कैसे भी जीत तो जीतना ही है मतलब देन डोंट लेट्स नॉट मेक हाफ मेजर्स अराउंड uh something went wrong and the chinese did this and that mm-hmm. and other mac then don't be a victim he's like we have to be a winner mindset and his steve redgers point was i have won three olympics i can retire mm-hmm. i can do motivational speaking i can write a book i can do whatever i can do whatever but mujhe fourth olympic jeetna hai to main wo kaise jeetu matlab tum log excuse bana loge mujhe fourth jeetna hai because that is the most important thing for me thing right for now. me now but for Five years I mean they said twenty years the guy was a champion. Twenty four, every four years uh-huh. happened. No five. Uh-huh. Yeah, depends on because for first Olympic के लिए भी अच्छा four years. To the okay. run up yeah, to yeah, that yeah, also yeah. he was um, yeah, at his best. But yeah, at the top of the game. <sighs> In incredible. Okay, how did you get to know about the story? I'm just curious. So because I just like to read sports. Okay. <laughs> biographies. I actually feel that you know some of the best role models come from. sports sports who's your role model there may be there may be many just give me one like random i think uh, mohammed ali and lance armstrong okay what what's one story about mohammed ali which you feel like it make it makes him your role model there there has to be something about yeah. him so when he decided that he will not go to the vietnam war okay is everybody was being drafted mm. and it was a <clears throat> national cause but he said look i don't feel like it because i don't believe that they are the enemy it was a complete outroar against him matlab mm. in those days it was not like he was trying to be a contrarian and say ki sab log ja rahe hai to main dusra direction mein karke fame le lunga mohammed ali didn't need that fame yeah. to do it and it was not as if and they were they told him ki yaar tumko actual war mein nahi bhej rahe tumko sirf dress dalna hai And you have to go in the battlefield of Vietnam. One more time, soldiers have to do a little punch ka photo bit to get them to motivate them. Uh, and so you are going to be completely safe. Yeah. Just you have to follow the rules. And his point was, no, I will make my rule. And they stripped him of the boxing title. And it took him like eight years after he was like reinstated back to, and he started at the bottom again. World champion ko pura nikal ke sab strip karke. Start at the bottom, challenger, challenger, challenger. Again, get it back. Uh, and resilience and the establishment was completely against him because they wanted him to fail. Lance Armstrong is a extremely controversial figure. Okay, I don't know about Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong is till a point in time was the most successful cyclist. Okay, he won Tour de France like I think seven times consecutively, okay. which is like the toughest cycling race to win in the world. But there were always doping allegations against him. doping okay and cycling was completely hit by doping for a long time and lance armstrong being the number one everybody used to say ki wo to kar hi raha hai dekho uh, allegation ta- at uske peak. timings to itne phenomenal hai to agar sab kar rahe to wo to definitely kar raha hai okay and he admitted it after several years so he was stripped of everything matlab uske sab medals gaye all fame is gone everything is gone but he wrote a book Bef when he was still, uh, he was said every second counts, hmm. and he wrote a part two which says it's not about the bike. Okay, in that, that same like uh, what I mentioned about Red Grave, no, बोलता है कि if you have to win a Tour de France, the small, small, small things that you have to take care of. Says कि जो मैं मसाज जल लगाऊंगा ना, वो भी मुझे चेक करना है. 
पीपल ट्राई टू ऑप्टिमाइज द वेट ऑफ अ बाइक मतलब बाइक छोड़ो मैं तो पॉकेट का जो ट्राउजर है ना उसका सीम का वेट भी मैं लेता हूँ बिकॉज एवरी एडिशनल थिंग इज अफिंग सो आई जस्ट इन द अटेंशन टू डिटेल दैट ही हैड बिकॉज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में समटाइम्स द गुफ ऑफ हैपन्स नॉट बिकॉज द सीनियर गाइज आर द सीनियर लीडर्स आर ऑलवेज ऑन टॉप ऑफ थिंग्स योर लास्ट लेवल पे किसी ने एक गलत ई मेल लिख दी कोई साइबर ब्रिज गलत हो गया एंड एवरी थिंग फॉल्स सीन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो एक किसी ने एक इनोकोस ई मेल का रिस्पॉन्ड करके दैट हैज बीन द कॉज एक लिटिगेशन में यूज हुआ एंड सो ऑन सो द वीकेस्ट लिंक विल सिंग द शिप सेट वीक लिंक को कैसे ये करे द अटेंशन टू रीड नो इट मेक्स सेंस इन फैक्ट वैन लाइक वैन आई वॉज आई थिंक आई आई टुक माई फर्स्ट बिजनेस कॉन्फ्रेंस इज समथिंग दैट वेर आई वॉन्ट लर्न अबाउट बिजनेस आई थिंक आई वॉज सेवेंटीन समथिंग दैट ओके तो मैंने एक फेडेक्स की स्टोरी सुनी थी एंड सिंस देन दैट स्टोरी इज टक विथ मी सो फेडेक्स का दे प्रोमिस दैट वी गोन डू वन डे डिलीवरी और समथिंग दैट अराउंड द वर्ल्ड एवरी थिंग राइट एंड दैव लाइक जॉइंट लाइक जॉइंट फैक्ट्री विच थ्री फोर कन्वेयर बेल्ट एयर एंड देयर एवरी थिंग इज एवरी थिंग विद इंटरलिंक्ड लाइक दर वॉज नो ह्यूमन इंटरवेंशन एट ऑल लाइक कंप्लीटली बिग जॉइन ओके एंड ऑटोमेटिकली द कन्वेयर बेल्ट वन कन्वेयर बेल्ट स्टॉप्स Wow. But because one stops, the first thing cannot go to second. Second cannot go to third. The whole operation stops. Everybody is going. They call the top engineers. सारे बड़े बड़े engineers आके चार घंटा पांच घंटा करते रहे कुछ नहीं हुआ. They called outside help. उनसे करा कुछ नहीं हुआ. बहुत देर तक करते लगे. Like there was entire factory standing, the warehouse standing, सब खड़े थे. और it went on like eight to twelve hours. और लोग सब खड़े थे. So everybody was just. Like maddening कि top senior levels आ गया सी ओ आ गया सब खड़े कि करना क्या है भाई अब कैसे होगा क्योंकि वी हैव मेड सच बिग प्रोमिस एंड उस टाइम कैंपेन वॉज एट पीक वेरी सीरियसली लाइक इंडिया में यू कैन स्टिल यू नो टर्न अराउंड फ्यू थिंग्स इन बी लाइक अमेरिका भाई तुमने बोल दिया एक दिन मतलब अब आना ही आना ही है कुछ भी हो सकता है So everybody was like, hey, or in there, hey, why? So one guy, like the factory labor, he said, "Yeah, I know a mechanic nearby. Yeah. He was there when the factory was getting built. Yeah. Okay, why don't we call him?" Everybody started laughing. It's the big, big engineers. He was like, "What are you doing? What are you doing?" And but the manager was furious. Manager is like, "Whoever you want to call, call. Try. Up, sabi kar liya kar lo." He comes. He comes. He si- he sits around. He checks. Just hang around for ten minutes, and he tightens one screw. and then removes another screw and that's it there was this one screw okay and the machine starts working wow. everybody started laugh, like like you know everybody started again celebrating ah. this and that people thanked him the next day the guy sends him the bill the guy sends him the bill was 1000 ah. dollars so the manager got furious and be like ek screw ka kyun ha bhai ek screw ka tu 1000 dollar le tu sirf tight kiya right bolta screw tight karne ka to 10 dollar hai 990 इसका है कि कौन सा स्क्रू कौन सा स्क्रू एंड दैट लाइक डिटेलिंग अटेंशन एंड इट वॉज जस्ट क्रेजी दैट इट यू कैन यू कैन हैव लाइक अ बिगेस्ट ऑफ द बिगेस्ट टीम बट वन जो आप बोले थे ना एकदम छोटा सा पॉकेट का वेट भी हो सकता कुछ भी हो सकता है एक स्क्रू टाइट नहीं करने की वजह से वो बस उसका फ्रिक्शन रुक गया था बेल्ट का एंड बिकॉज इफ दैट एंड आई वॉज लाइक वाह तो बहुत ही एंड बिकॉज इन ऑटोमेटेड सिस्टम अगर स्क्रू प्रॉपर टाइट नहीं तो मशीन आगे मशीन आगे नहीं जाएगी दिस वॉज ऑल्सो Uh, you know this japanese this is the 80s when lot of uh, american industries were being hit by japan and, mm. and automotive and so on so the japanese thing was six sigma that was, it was yeah, a very new know. concept mm. na six sigma which is six parts in a million can be defective huh. and so american signed a contract with the japanese saying six sigma hmm so parts aa gaye sare to japanese ne na se 900000 whatever uh, no 5 million uh, xy whatever एक बक इसमें भेजे क्रेट में एंड छह डिफेक्टिव पार्ट्स अलग भेज दिए उसने बोला कि ये छह अलग पार्ट्स ये डिफेक्टिव पार्ट्स क्यों भेज दिए तो नहीं जैपनीज सेड नो नहीं यू सेड नो कि सिक्स सिग्मा तो विच इज सिक्स पार्ट्स वी थॉट यू वांटेड दोस डिफेक्टिव पार्ट्स सो नन ऑफ दीज अदर पार्ट आर डिफेक्टिव ओनली दिस सिक्स पार्ट्स आर डिफेक्टिव अमेरिकन लाइक ओ शेड अमेरिकन थॉट की पार्ट्स आएंगे तो कुछ ना कुछ डिफेक्टिव होगा जैपनीज सेड नो 
when we give our parts there is no defect in those uh-huh. defective parts are these we thought you wanted so we said okay six sigma mein bhej do parts the same attention to detail and that's what japanese engineering uh, yeah. toyotas yeah. and so on and there's there's a lot of japanese engineering things i said i'm just thinking about all these stories before we actually get down to the crux of i want to pick up your brain <laughs> upl se pehle hmm. i wanted to ask her okay now you what is your role you're talking about so i look at um, corporate venture investments digital new businesses carbon sustainability okay uh, m&a so what's your position what chief strategy officer okay and chief what strategy. technically a strategy officer has to do strategy like in, in one two lines if you have to tell ha. me like how it is strategy officer has to make sure that the long term plans of the company and the short term execution are aligned okay to me that is the only thing you have to make sure <laughs> and second very critical thing is capital allocation कैपिटल कहाँ जाना चाहिए और कहाँ नहीं जाना चाहिए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज एवरीबडी विल वॉन्ट मोर एंड मोर मनी एवरीबडी विल हैव अ फेवरेट इनिशिएटिव विच विल बिकम द नेक्स्ट बिलियन डॉलर थिंग एंड वो झगड़ा कैसे सॉल्व होगा बिकॉज कैपिटल इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी फाइनाइट सो हाउ डू यू प्रायोरिटाइज किसको मिलना चाहिए किसको नहीं मिलना चाहिए वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इन फैक्ट लेट्स डू वन Do you mind like if I go if I go really dumb and like want to understand like the layman things about it? Of course, of course, okay. go ahead. So I want to understand the roles of the senior positions now, because yeah. when you talked about strategy, right? So let's just talk about one by one, role by role, sure. because I want to understand ki kaise kya hota. So if a strategy is done by CSO, that's the position, Chief Strategy Chief Officer. Chief Strategy Officer. Yeah. Okay. So CEO kya karta hai? Like I'll talk about everything. Yeah. Okay, you tell me ah. about every position. So I think CEO ka kya role hota hai? See, I feel and this is my. CEO is the first and last port of call. Okay. First and last port. So he is the face of the organization externally. Buck stops with the CEO. Okay. okay. And especially in today's day and age, CEO's ka biggest role is also stakeholder management. The CEO has to deal with regulators, capital markets, employees, investors, competitors, suppliers, media, and everybody can say. यार ये डिसीजन मेरे पे ग्रेड से ऊपर है समबडी एल शुड डू इट सी यू डज नॉट हैव दैट लीवे ही कैन नॉट से कि इट्स लाइक पासिंग द पार्सल गेम में तुम ले लो तुम ले लो तुम ले लो क्राइसिस आ गया ना तो सी यू हैज टू बी द फर्स्ट सो टू मी सी यू इज ऑल्सो द चीफ क्राइसिस ऑफिसर बिकॉज एवरीबडी एंड सी यू विल हैव द बेस्ट शुड आई से सपोर्ट बट एंड ऑफ द डे में डिसीजन उसी का फायर करना है कि नहीं करना है मिसाइल इट्स लाइक द जनरल इन द आर्मी राइट you can listen people will inform you the missile will be ready but button dabana hai ke nahi dabana hai mm. that is the ceo's that is ceo's ceo's role ceo's role chief executive officer okay the ceo yeah. now uh, uh, huh. follow up to that what do you think is the most important skill for a ceo to learn i think to me the most if i have to take one i think it will be storytelling I guess people have to believe in him because you are following right organizations are going to develop over time rome was not built in a day neither will a company jo aaj x hai wo 100x kaise hogi but ab ceo ko dikh raha hai wo vision and most of the times only ceo ko dikhta hai baki sab to ko pata nahi hai kya hai yeah. so how do you get people to believe in you very interesting and everybody has to believe in you yeah. investors to believe in you paisa kyu dega tumko when True. he has 100 options employee tumhe kyu join karega But and especially if you say I cannot pay you the most, hmm. but I should believe in you. Culture is whose responsibility is? CEO's ki responsibility is. So how does he tell the story? Because and I always say this: CEO's whisper becomes a scream. CEO, if he will say, "I am worried," by the time he filter, he will say, "Boss, company problem. Hai. Let's figure out resume. Where to send it?" So even if the CEO is worried, he can't be stressed. interesting very interesting because this is something i told him yesterday about he is like ki what is going to be your role in your startup okay he's he was asking mm. me because i was telling her how i'm assembling like the best team in the world and in my head i'm like avengers assemble like that yeah. kind of thing i'm trying to build i'm trying to best team in the world right and he was asking what is going to be your role i was like in ideals abhi तो झाड़ भी मुझे लगाना है और पैसे ही मुझे लाना है सब मुझे करना है like the startup mm. right startup, but in an yeah. ideal situation my job would be 
CSO and CVO. And what do I mean by that? Chief supporting officer. Yeah. And I'll just be there. Absolutely. Boss, you are the ops guy. You're handling it. But if you have a problem, I'm there to support you. How will I be able to do that? I don't know, but I'll help I'll you. I'll help you. Right? What I'll figure out. CVO is chief visionary officer. Brilliant. It's like, I'll be the one. I'll be like, boss, I'm a dreamer. We have the vision. Let's go achieve it. Because if I won't communicate that vision in the company, nobody will be excited mm. to work and like go get that vision. Because everybody yeah. is jacket and working, trying to solve their own problems. I am the only one who has to look outside the problem and be like, this is the moonshot which we want to make. Think about it. No, this was said. Steve Jobs. Hmm. Okay. What Was Steve Jobs the best coder? No. No, he was not the best coder. Was he the best designer? Johnny Ivey was the best designer. Best designer, yeah. Was he the best supply chain, finance and all that? No, he was not. But whose Steve vision was. was it? Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs kept saying, why was the iPad built? Mm -hmm. You know, iPad, why did it build it? First original use case of an iPad. Was not anybody telling Steve Jobs. He market research not say market research. Steve Jobs was sitting in his toilet. And he had newspapers. So the newspaper was filled in the toilet. He was like, if I can have a device, which I can use in the toilet to read and get efficient and get ready, that will be what it. But that was his dream. And then making sure everybody believes in it because you will always have naysayers. Yeah. There are more critics than supporters. Generally, if you're successful, there'll be more critics always. Mm. And as somebody said, you are measured by the size of your problems. So yeah. Steve Jobs was fired, was almost bankrupt and all of those things. But he he led and because of his vision. Now, Usme B, there is another thing like, Again, my favorite analogy sports. The most successful football manager, statistics aside, is Alex Ferguson. Yeah. Manchester United. Okay. 13 times and European leagues and all. Was he the best football player? He was Scottish Rangers. Ke liye khelta he was not the best football yeah. player. No. But why? He was the CEO of Manchester United. Yep. He knew which players to pick, whom to bet on, how to build a next generation team, how to manage the owners of Manchester United, how to make sure fans ko mil raha hai, how to think about merchandising, how to monetize Man U as a franchise. Now, he's thinking of all of that. He's connecting on field and off field. Who's playing now? Of course, he needs an Eric Cantona. He needs the Paul uh, Ran Giggs and Paul Scholes of the world to be playing for him. But he has to be tough. Yeah. He, when they were almost at the last, uski vision thi. none of the players even believed that we can do something. They were saying, we relegation from relegation. Relegation? I'm thinking about winning. I'm thinking about EPL, how do we European League? I mean, the Champions Cup can be won next year. Players were like shocked. So his vision was jaw-dropping. I mean, as you rightly said, chief visionary. Because oftentimes, all of the dots that are happening, the CEO is in the best position because the CEO is meeting people outside. He's going and seeing somebody. He's connecting the dots. Everybody else is siloed. I mean, this is my function. Hai. Where does it all come together? Yeah. See you later. Very, very fascinating. I'm getting, it's it's going at a good pace. I'm liking how we just started. It feels like this is a common question or a common conversation which most of the people have, but they don't have clarity around it. And we're just uncovering that. And I want to go deeper on this, sure. okay? So quickly tell me, Ki CEO mein, what are the, what do you think are the top three books as a C, like somebody who aspire to become CEO or is a CEO should read? As for you, complete perspective. Oh. Ray Dalio's Principles. Okay. The phenomenal book because he really, Ray Dalio is one of the most successful hedge fund, uh, managers. fund managers in the world. More importantly, Ray Dalio writes what makes him successful and what he's yeah. failed. Yeah. Very few people write about them when they are still doing it <coughs> because you're very worried. Well, retirement ke baad, you can always yeah, look right. back and say, I was so successful because I did the 40 things. He's still there and he's still he's writing doing. what makes yeah. me uh, yeah. successful. I think uh, Ray Dalio's Principles is one. Um, you know, Ray Dalio says one thing which uh, I heard it in a podcast. He's like, I've completely eliminated the choice of food in from my life. Have you heard that? No, I haven't. He's like, I, I eat the same breakfast forever. And I've been eating that since forever. But you know, this is called a paradox of choice. Okay, jo, isme bahut research hai. And if you see, like Einstein wore the same suit every day. He had like 20 same, same suits. Shoes. So you'll be like, Are ye tum suit ye kar really? Do, because I think there is a whole thing of saying your brain power that you can actively use now effort is mm. limited. Yeah. Okay, don't waste it on stupid choices. Stupid. Ye karu ki wo karu, and I'm like, oh, should I eat this? Should I have carbs? No, just, just simplify. 
Tim Cook does that same thing. Yeah. I know we go back to Apple. Uska sandwich, whatever that salad and uh, grilled chicken uh, thing. Tim Cook just only does that. It's like he. चाहिए क्यों? There is no don't complicate life. Yeah, exactly. Like, like so, this was again. This was done by again one of the billionaires. I think Elon Musk said it that he every human being has the ability to take decisions daily. तो अगर तुम जितने डिसीजन लेते हो जितने ज्यादा लेते जाओगे उसका तुम्हारा डिसीजन फटीक हो जाता है एंड तक सो सारे छोटे छोटे डिसीजन एलिमिनेट कर दो ताकि यू कैन ओनली फोकस ऑन द डिसीजन विच आर रियली इंपॉर्टेंट सो स्टॉप वरिंग अबाउट वॉट यू आर वेरिंग इन द ऑफिस वॉट यू आर ईटिंग हाउ यू आर गोइंग वॉट वॉट गोन बी लाइक जिस एलिमिनेट लिटिल थिंग्स विच यू कैन राइट एंड इस पॉइंट इज नॉट ओन लाइक नॉट एलिमिनेट एवरीवेयर इन लाइफ एलिमिनेट वेन इट्स नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट If you want to go to a party and you want to go with someone, go dress up, think about where you're going to date, and because that's in that moment that's the important, important decision, yeah. right? But if you're just going to office and your most important thing is to talk to your investors, who cares whether you're wearing black or white or grey? <laughs> yeah, and I think there was a the whole thing of eliminate, if not automate. Mm. So most of us always mm. also say that, yeah, ye bill pay karna hai, kahan karna hai? Automate कर दो ना standing instructions डाल दो you can always go back and and yeah. check it but there is always like eliminate what you can rest at least automate, automate. so that whatever you are spending time on is by far most critical yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, issues that you are focusing I on I know yeah? I know there's Nawal का भी एक quote है which says that uh, if you if you're not actively using your creativity to take decisions then eliminate delegate or automate yeah absolutely Uh, it's a uh, cool like tell me second book the first book was ray dalio's principles ray dalio's uh, principles i think second one thoda philosophical hai, is uh, marcus aurelius's uh, meditations Me, i was just going to say this okay really yeah. 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 so this phenomenal i mean the that time's most powerful person emperor of rome is writing about so many things which i think are relevant to a ceo because mm. as an emperor he had a certain you know public image persona a lot of decisions and he was writing it down but he was also writing down as a father as a husband uh, and uh, ceos have a role to play they are the chief executive officer of a company but they are also they have other relationships there are other things which are important to yeah. them and marcus aurelius i think did a great balance between uh, between uh, these two things and third would be life imitates chess by gary kasparov okay where actually kasparov because he was first a grandmaster then he got into like he would have almost become the russian president and he took on vladimir putin oh oh yeah yeah he was standing as an independent and trying to galvanize but again very difficult to uh, you know take on uh, putin in i mean Obviously. the world hasn't been able to uh, <laughs> do that but you know, what he says is he says look as a ceo or or as in life all of us have resources hmm. okay Could be money, it could be our talent, capabilities, and chess is also about how do you marshal resources. Okay, and at the start of the game, you may be whoever you are. You may be Gary Kasparov, Magnus Carlsen, but you also have the same number of pieces. I also have the same number of pieces. Yeah, you are also going to your pieces will also follow the same rule. So it's like in life, you are also going to have twenty four hours. I'm also going to have twenty four hours. Maximize what you can. Hmm. now of course gary kaspar then says you know how life is all about building ad positional advantages hmm. sacrifices it's a very important thing he says life may be like in chess sometimes you have to give up something to gain something to gain some bigger advantage now, you may have to give up personal life if you are going for professional success sometimes you may have to say i may have to compromise my you know something which was important in the medium term for something which is near term i you cannot get everything yeah okay and that's what he said to grandmasters of chess and of life know what their end game is he said for a grandmaster to win he doesn't need between two grandmasters it's a very equal position mm -hmm. always mm -hmm. because sab log ne kitabe padhi hai everybody knows today's day and age to tumhara sare games ka analysis mere paas pada hai meri puri team ye kare tum jo white khelte ho to ab kya khelte ho tumhare sicilian defenses and also uh -huh. in today's day and age he says as a ceo you know everything about all the companies around you you know everything about your consumers you know everything so data is available track record is available i know everything about your investors you know everything about mine so when we are competing or in the market information is not a thing but then how do you start building small 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 advantages because a grandmaster one pawn advantage is enough for a win 
because mm. you will exchange all pieces. Your king, my king, I have one pawn left. I'm going to win broadly it, at a grand master level. So he says, that's what life is. And he explains beautifully how, as a CEO, you need to think about risks that you take, risk in business, you take risks on people. He explains very importantly, the biggest risk CEOs take is not in business. They know their business very well. You take a risk on people every single day. Isko har, har kar raho. Will he fit in with my existing team? Yeah. But I'm hiring because he's spiky. Uske kuch aur special hai. That's why I'm hiring him. Yeah. Sometimes it's I'm hiring him because he's different. Hmm. And then I'm wondering whether what will the rest of my team say? What's oh, different? Hai, meri team aisi hai. So how will the integration work? So the biggest risk CEO's take is on people. Yeah. And that's what he was saying. How as a from the principles of chess to the principles of business and life. So that would be my third book for as very interesting. Uh, what's the again? What's the full name of the book? Uh, Life one? imitates chess. But I'm I'm intrigued to read it honestly, and I I'm not like a big reader. Like I I've read like I think I, I think 200 books till wow. now or something like that. But um I don't like reading. I force myself to read for a problem which I'm going through in life because I feel problems yeah. get solved through books. No problem. I mean this um. The Harry Potter lady, J.K. Rowling, uh-huh. says, if you think you don't like reading, you just haven't got the right books. Uh, I know, but it's just, I felt the same thing. But itni books padne ke baad bhi nahi. My point is, it's not like that I don't like reading. I love watching more. That's a different. That, yeah, right? So different I thing. feel like, let's say if I want to, let's say, read about Steve Jobs, I would rather watch his, watch movie. his movie. So that's the whole idea. If I or wanna, you have also podcasts, pod, you have yeah, yeah, like, audio books. So the formats other. are very different. Exactly. I think it's more... Somebody has spent so much time doing something, so you get just mil raha uska. Yep, yep. Or you yep. have those apps which tell you the summary of a book. Ha. Summary sun lenge. Is summary? I'm not a big fan of summaries, honestly. Like I just feel like summaries are good. It's like trailers. If it's good, then I will go deeper go in that deeper book. In that it's a good way for that. But I don't think that should be a primary source of information for X Y Z thing. What are the three most phenomenal books you've read? Wow, that's a good one. One is Contagious, again. Okay. It's about, uh, you know, story and what sticks around and how the how everything, how people talk about your stuff. Okay. Like, how can you make it contagious? Contagious. Okay. And that's one. Second is Influence, which I really like. Influence, have you read it? No, I haven't. Some... Oh, so it's, a, it's about psychology of persuasion. That's one of the best, best and the most common thing I've read in the book. The most common thing, but it's so good that if you understand that, so many things like you know so many things get solved for you and I, the thing is people like people who are like them or people like people who like them That's people it. like people who are like them or people like people who are like them no who like them who like them sorry so, yeah, who so like if them, i yeah. like you you'll you'll probably like me or if we both are similar then also you like me wow it's so very it, powerful it's so simple but it just Perfect. gives you everything to build relationships with people, with strangers instantly. So that's the second influence. What's the third? So first is contagious. Second is influence. Third, it's a tough one. Let me... <clears throat> there are do three two, and four. That's yeah, fine. like no, I, I'm thinking of two, <laughs> three. Uh, so I really like The Almanac by Nawal Ravikant. Okay. It's a very it's a simple, simple one, book. but I like it. Book. It's a great yeah, book. I like it. So it's like, I don't want to go like, uh, I can give you one more. But uh, I wanted to specifically give this one because it's like the basic, which people can read. It's a feel-good book. It just goes on. Life's good type kind of. That one I have read. Uh, I haven't read the... The other two? No, you should. no I will. I will. <coughs> you Contagious should. and influence. Uh, if, you, if you believe storytelling is something which oh, you yeah, like, absolutely. So first two books are really good. Okay. The other, the f- I was going to say 48 Laws of Power, but... Also good. Uh, it's it's a, also good. Again. But I think it has a <laughs> Chanakya slash Machiavellian feel to... <laughs> especially the examples are um, Bang on. very much like devious, manipulative. So it has some connotation. You have to like be able to do that. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go to the second position. CEO we talked about. Yeah. What's the role of a CFO? When when you said that CSO ka capital allocation role is, what's the role of CFO? Ka kya role hai so I think... CFO, there financial are, officer. Uh, chief financial officer. I think there are two, three things. First is there is operational finance. Tankha milni jaye sabko. Okay, nahi milegi to matlab finance system mein gadbad hai. To the first riot will happen because if salary gets delayed, the CFO has to make sure nothing goes wrong. Vendor payments, suppliers, to operational finance ka hai. I think the second one is really there is a compliance role. 
the mm-hmm. CFO. Audits, uh, you know, frauds, risk management, legal. Because most of the time, legal also gets into the mm-hmm. CFO's uh, okay. department. And regulatory, there is a, so much that a CFO has to do because there are so many laws to comply. And the larger the company, the more the amount of entities and laws that you have. Yeah. And a CFO really is like the first, I mean, you will, you, some companies may have a chief risk officer who may also report to the CFO, but CFO really has to understand all the laws, regulations. He's a line of defense. First mm-hmm. is operational. He's almost like a line of defense against fraud, hai, comp- risk, hai, investor, capital markets. Hajar log uske piche aayenge, yeah. tax wale aayenge, sab kuch hoga usko, mm-hmm. CFO. And I think the third one, and which again, sometimes blurs between chief strategy officer and CFO is things like M&A, capital allocation. Some people put it under CFO. Some people say, no, that is a lot more, for lack of a pun unintended, a lot more strategic. Okay. And CFO may not have the bandwidth because there are a lot of operational things. Treasury hoti hai ki daily, you are going to be borrowing lending money, you have to do hedging activities. And larger the company, each one of these activities are like billions of dollars. So you cannot afford. And by the time you get to quarter end, numbers close karne hai, yeah. have provisions to think about, year end. Uske baad, if you are a listed entity, then you will have hundreds of uh, conferences, investor roadshows and uh, analysts and also. Yeah. CFO is a very, very tough. Uh, right. I actually empathize with CFOs a lot because you have operational issues and you have very strategic issues. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this is so true. Uh, I was just having a conversation with my co-founder and he said, what is CFO? I don't need to do So he's like, why do you need to do it? I said, because CFO's real meaning is Chief Firefighting Officer. So when we are in the firefighting position, we need to do it. Now we not firefighting. How are you going to do it? And if you look at, you know, historically, how did the CFO role evolve? You should just take... See, it was earlier meant to be a lala ka ek muni. Hota tha. So sare galle pe bat ke, dhanda kar rahe ho na, cash kitni aari hai, cash kitni jari hai, books, bahi kitha, barabar likhi hai ki nahi, government ko the tax records dene hai. So you had a bookkeeping. You know, started accountants, mein, the bookkeeping ek subject was bookkeeping, management accounts. That was the role. Then we can bookkeeping. Nahi. You need, there are a lot more control. So you became a financial controller. So bookkeeper became a financial controller. Then you said, no, but you are business barabar kar rahe ki nahi dekhna chahiye na, to kisi ko audit bhi karna chahiye. So mm-hmm. you had accounting, audit. And then you said, no, this guy is actually responsible for lot more higher value stuff also. Because over time, Softwares took over. Now everybody has like Oracle or Tally and so mm. on. So yeah, basic stuff is not done yeah. by the CFO or by a person. Machines have taken that over. Yeah. You, you may sometimes need like reconciliation run karne ke liye and all. Then you said no. no. Maths and English needs to marry. Mm. I think CFO is a person where maths or English marry. Hota hai. Sales is saying, boss, I'm going to do it. Let's celebrate. Karte hai. Mm. Hey, boss, sales is growing. There's no profitability. Nahi hai. Who will be that? And sometimes it will be like, Inventory nahi hai hamare paas. Departments are fighting. Yeah. Often times CFO ha- is the person who is the single source of truth. Mm. Ki, ye number hai bhai. This is what we are reporting. This is what we are signing off on. You may think you are doing a great job, but it is not reflecting in the numbers. Often times, hundreds of times we'll have ye pilot project launch kare. Bahut successful ho gaya. Kaha dikh raha hai? PNL mein to aaya nahi. We said, no, we did this in our region. Mein ye kar diya. Ye ho gaya. So, balle, balle. everybody has celebrated. Yeah. But it has no impact. Mm. And CFO is actually the custodian who's saying, guys, is money being well spent? Whether it's money of the promoter or the investor of investor. CFO has to give the answer that there is money, how much is the return on capital? Is the yeah. return on investment or not? How are you able to prove it? And you see this, you see... I would name uh, entities, but when accounting fraud is discovered, uh. then we can talk about the past. Satyam. Yeah. A company which was flying high, destroyed in one day. Enron. These were all fortune. Enron was like a fortune 10 company. Forget 500. Yeah. Accounting. So that's why, you know, CFO is also a very trusted role. Yeah. Because you, that's why the whole bar on, you know, whenever a CFO is fired or say, CFO change hota hai, to log darte ki hai. Like, boss, CFO ka ye kya Kuch to... So it's a very, very trust, ju- responsibility wale positions. And firefighting, crisis ho gaya. So it's a, it's a, that's why the Chartered Accountancy Institute, you insist on ki CFO ke koi criteria honi chahiye. You should be knowing the basics of accounting, law, taxation. Gadbar to hain hoti hai. And CFO so, ko, you should have a nose, na smell ki, is it happening right or not? Is, is everything okay? Ya kuch gadbar hai kahin par? Hmm. So that's the CFO. You know, just thinking of that thought, just uh, 
finding someone like that and then trusting is go- is so difficult right yeah. it's very difficult and that's why some of the most successful companies are always built when you have a ceo and cfo whom they trust mm-hmm. and you will see that large companies when they grow the ceo and cfo will have grown together and, and. because usko pata hota hai ki the ceo is the growth and vision boss end mein capital kharcha ho raha hai ki nahi budget meet ho raha hai ki nahi cfo has to start, you know get into that was ceo will have no time numbers dekho uska cfo is person who has to go through every line of that contract and say boss barabar clauses dale hai ki nahi to ceo ke paas utna time bhi nahi aur hona bhi nahi chahiye he is painting the next bold growth story is painting the next bet cfo is his counter foil very important role perfect ha hmm. ah, to now we covered ceo we covered cfo, CFO. what the coo role what the ops guys role because i've yeah. heard that every time you talk to or spoken to like at least 5 7 uh chief operating officers in the country because i was finalizing yeah. the position yeah. for my company right all the ops guys said that find someone who can replace you yeah and why do they say that the coo in many ways na is the second in command generally mm-hmm. wo, because ceo has to is one level above uska bahut external role hota hai coo key thing is his role is very much internal internal operations day to day धंधा चल रहा है धंधा चलाना है यू कैन द टाइटल कैन बी चीफ ग्रोथ ऑफिसर चीफ ऑपरेटिंग ऑफिसर चीफ रेवेन्यू ऑफिसर चीफ बिजनेस ऑफिसर टाइटल्स बहुत होते हैं सी एक्स ओ में तो आई थिंक इट इज जोक बट सी ओ ओ इज द गाय हु इज मेकिंग श्योर की सी ओ को ना एक बार कंसेप्चुअलाइज हो गया विजन हो गया अब वो बैठ के प्रोसेस फ्लो ये वो बियॉन्ड अ सर्टन लेवल ना सी ओज डोंट डू दैट सी ओज वॉट डे डू इज ए टिपिकली विल पिक ऑन समथिंग विच इज आइदर एक्साइटिंग और डिफिकल्ट Okay, because difficult है तो सी ओ को घुसना ही है क्रैक करने के लिए क्या उसका एक्साइटिंग है इज पैशन प्रोजेक्ट है पैशन ये बड़ा नया धंधा करना है बट अभी वो कर लिया ना अभी लॉन्च द बिजनेस इज स्टेबल अभी नेक्स्ट वेव ऑफ ग्रोथ के लिए सी ओ का ना इंक्रीमेंटल टाइम वो क्या करेगा वो तो परेशान हो जाएगा बोले यार ये वही डिस्कशन ग्रोथ इज देर तो मैं क्या करूँ सो देन ही द सी ओ कम्स इन टू से यू नो बिल्स आर बींग पेड एवरी थिंग इज गोइंग फाइन कस्टमर्स आर हैप्पी प्रोडक्ट इज मैनुफैक्चर्ड क्वालिटी डिफेक्ट्स नहीं है सो ही इज मेकिंग श्योर दैट इट्स हैपनिंग देर एंड at some stage because he understands the business hmm in case the ceo wants to step out take go to chairman role because everybody has some other step yeah. to do the ceo may step in into that role right. may or may not all organizations have ceos sometimes hota bhi nahi hai because you may have a head of sales and you may have head of manufacturing now sales and manufacturing may never report together because they're very different kind yeah. of things they merge only at ceo level sometimes you say ki nahi nahi ye operations has sales operations has sourcing logistics everything in which case the ceo role becomes critical mm-hmm. essentially it's a span breaker between ceo and separates out mundane stuff which is no longer in pilot innovation chalega ki nahi chal raha hai ho raha hai make sure it works clockwork orange mm-hmm. that's the ceo's role. coo's role coo's role okay so is there i missed the book on the finance as well What's the best book of the finance and the best book of operations, if you can think of any? Ah, uh, I cannot. Uh, your finance and ops, Kelly. See, ops. Lot of the books I read are typically around. You know, this Eliyahu Goldarat was the f- f- professor who uh, created this theory of constraints. Okay. You know, factory and so on. So in ops, that's considered to be like the Gold Bible, uh, okay. Eliyahu Goldarat's theory of constraints. Ke books, but I don't. I cannot think of like a. CEO equivalent thing. The only thing I would say for a CEO or CFO is, eventually, they either retire or they have to become CEO. Hmm. So how does a CFO really develop that skill set? Uh, and it happens. I mean, just now if you see Lakshman Narasimhan, who's the who's become the CEO of Starbucks. Starbucks, yeah. yeah. Lakshman is a very good friend, hmm. and he was the CFO at Pepsi before. So yeah. uh, he was a regional CFO of one of Pepsi's businesses, then global CFO, then became CEO at Reckitt, and then CEO at Starbucks. So yeah. that is one trajectory that you often take. Is CFO ko external aata hai? He understands enough about the business. He can ask the right questions. He knows how to handle board members, how to handle investors. Does the CFO know enough about operations? Two level niche ghus ke problem solve. Agar usse aata hai, to eventually wo acha CEO ban sakta hai. Mm-hmm. CEO ke liye alag hai. does he have the passion for numbers will he be very comfortable or does he really need to you know ki numbers are very difficult accounting standards cross border stuff m and a co ne kabhi kiya nahi hai 
तो उनका नेक्स्ट प्रोग्रेशन अलग होता है बट दैट्स द एसेंशियल डिफरेंस डिफरेंस बिटवीन बट आई कुडंट टेल वन बुक फॉर फॉर दोस नो बट थ्योरी ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट्स ऑफ पीपल वांट टू रीड एंड गो या थ्योरी ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट्स इज अ इज अ वेरी गुड वन इज अ वेरी गुड वन एंड देयर आर लाइक अ सीरीज ऑफ बुक्स देयर बाय द वे फॉर एनी कॉर्पोरेट नो आई वुड एनी पर्सन डिलबर्ट इज द बाइबल Okay. Scott Adams wrote a series of books called Dilbert. It's a satire on corporate life. Okay. Okay. But whatever Dilbert says and does is like phenomenal. Okay. The, I want to pick this up because you said corporate. Okay, and we don't use this word very often these days. It's all startups, startup. right? But so, what is a startup? Startup yeah, is also corporate. Ah. Huh. So, when I start, kia na aaj. So when a established entity starts a new thing, it becomes like a incubation it becomes like a department or it becomes a new business yeah. when somebody who is fresh starts up hmm. it's a startup there is nothing no difference usme kya hai tum we are hiring people you are doing business you will raise money so there is no it kind of the same the way same i was thing. just going to say is there like any difference there is no diff- people say i will come to the difference but uh, see 10 साल बाद भी पीपल से वी आर अ स्टार्टअप दस साल हो गया यार मतलब कितना बीस साल बाद भी तुम बोलेगा मैं स्टार्टअप ही हूँ अमेजोन बोलते हैं हम आज भी स्टार्टअप है बट नो वॉट इज हैपन नो लॉट ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल कंपनीज हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट स्टार्टअप का एडवांटेज क्या है दो एडवांटेज उसके एक एडवांटेज है फंडिंग Okay, from private investors. Yeah. When you are a listed entity, you have tons of constraints. Yeah. Reporting, public money. It's important. When you are a private फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी बहुत ज्यादा है विच लीड्स टू स्पीड अ कॉपरेट समटाइम्स फेसेस अ लॉट ऑफ यू नो यू नीड अप्रूवल्स यू हैव अ प्रोसेस स्टार्टअप में कभी कभार होता है कि तीन लोग बैठ के करना है डन है यार चलो कर, ले कर ले लेते यार कल सुबह कर लेते हैं चलो लेट्स डू इट नाउ दैट इज वॉट एंड स्टीव जॉब्स ऑल्सो टॉक्स अबाउट इट सेंग गराज ओके और फेसबुक द फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी फेसबुक है स्पीड एट विच फेसबुक कुड मूव टूडे फेसबुक के नॉट मूव इवन लाइक वन थाउजेंड ऑफ दैट स्पीड या regulation yeah. meta there will be 400 regulatory will come other people will come and put a spoke in the middle their own employees will say humko ye nahi karna mm. think about it it's size it's just a matter of size when you scale up no scale requires processes and systems mm. which kills the reason why the startup was fast in the first place which was flexibility agility so mm. i think startups in that world need to adopt some of the systems and processes of the larger entities because you cannot you cannot be in multiple countries you cannot have thousands of employees if you don't put some basic processes and systems in place you everything cannot be a new problem to solve every yeah are wo ho gaya hai wo pehli baar humne solve kar liya abhi ye ek playbook hai isi ko repeat karo also you cannot say ki main isme creativity dikhaunga bhai tax law mein creativity nahi hai tum creativity mein mat dikhao wo pe wo tax code diya hai you cannot uh, break some of these so and often and of course uh, Travis Kalanick uh, had said this is yeah. innovation happens in the gray area between what is legal and illegal mm-hmm. okay yeah uber but kuch wo pura illegal nahi hai wo pura legal nahi hai law is silent on it to maine kar diya ab tum batao illegal kahan hai and sometimes what happens is regulators realize ki nahi nahi ye consumer benefit mein desh ke hit mein hai so let's change the law yeah so uber पुष्ट 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 रेगुलेशन टू चेंज अदरवाइज टैक्सी यूनियन टैक्सी लॉबीज में तो बंद ही कर देते उसको ग्रे एरिया बट इफ ऑल द फिनोमिनल पेटीएम विजय शेखर शर्मा फिनोमिनल अगेन फंडामेंटली वाई शुड अ वॉलेट हैव एग्जिस्टेड पैसा ट्रांसफर करने के लिए बैंक अकाउंट है ना तुम्हारा बैंक अकाउंट है मेरा बैंक अकाउंट है पहले भी मैं चेक से ट्रांसफर कर सकता था बैंक अकाउंट टू बैंक अकाउंट कर सकता था एन ई एफ टी था वॉलेट क्यों है प्री पेड वॉलेट की कोई जरूरत ही नहीं थी But agility, when demon happened, Paytm रातो रात college students को hire करके QR code लगा के बोला boss demon है cash नहीं ले सकते हो Paytm करो. Okay, that is agility. Corporate को अगर वो करना होता ना they would say कैसे करें? Can we hire temps? Temps की policy क्या होगी? Uh, you know उनको overtime देंगे कि नहीं देंगे? Uh, you know gender equality ensure करनी है temps की नहीं करनी है. These are not wrong questions, but speed. Uh, What he could do in one now, if Paytm had to do, like, of course, Paytm when they became a banking license, bank license, mila, RBI wrapped them. Yeah. कि ये गलत है वो गलत है. Crypto, same thing happened with uh, some of the crypto exchanges. कि it was innovative, phenomenal innovation. ये है ना crypto. Who who controls crypto? There is again a famous book, Bitcoin Billionaires, okay, which talks about the story of uh, the Winklevoss brothers. How hmm. Facebook के debacle के बाद. they became the world's first bitcoin billionaires 
एंड ही टॉक्स देयर अबाउट ऑल ऑफ दिस सेइंग कि शुड बिटकॉइन हैव गॉन द रूट ऑफ नो डियर सॉर्ट ऑफ नॉट रेगुलेटेड बाय एनी कंट्री बट मोमेंट टू स्टार्ट बिकमिंग बिग रेगुलेटेड इन एवरी कंट्री कम्स आफ्टर यू सो बेटर हाउ डू यू बैलेंस बिटवीन रेगुलेशन सिस्टम्स प्रोसीजर्स एंड एजिलिटी ऑफ अ स्टार्टअप very interesting point and now I want to get deeper in this particular by the way just quickly put out temps mean temporary people temporary right? people yeah, yeah temporary because you uh, when the, you uh, overnight you, you could not hire full yeah, time no so the part time contractual hire karke <coughs> laga do tod do that's the ambition uh, of uh, vijay shekhar sharma that's the speed he can he could uh, do it afford to do that now he can now he has to be he has to think he, rbi ka regulation kya hai and rbi may be interesting hai do i ask for approval or do i ask for forgiveness it's a very important distinction na aap sir please i want to do this aap approve kar do uh-huh. aapke current regulation mein nahi hai or do i say boss kar do pehle bolenge to baad mein bolenge galti ho gayi what is the penalty to be paid it's a very important and some regulators and some people always approach it with a फर्ग्यूनेस माइंड सेट बाद में फर्ग्यूनेस मांग लेंगे सम पीपल से नहीं यार फर्ग्यूनेस नहीं अप्रूवल मांगो पहले वॉट इज राइट वॉट इज रॉन्ग डिपेंड्स ऑन कॉन्टेक्स डिपेंड्स ऑन द इंडिविजुअल सही है यार आई लाइक डिट फर्गिवनेस अप्रूवल दिस इज दिस कैन बी ट्रू फॉर एवरी स्टार्टअप ऑपरेटिंग इन एवरी फील्ड इफ यू कम विद राइट कॉन्टेक्स इट कैन जस्ट चेंज द होल थिंग एंड स्पॉटिफाई आई मीन नैप्टर वॉट इज द डिफरेंट नैप्टर एंड स्पॉटिफाई तो नैप्टर लीगैलिटीज वर नॉट डेर ओवर टाइम यू पुस्ट 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 यू लॉबीड ऑल द एक्टर्स इन द म्यूजिक आर्टिस्ट एंड सेट की बॉस वो रिकॉर्ड कंपनी चोरी कर रही है दे आर मेकिंग मनी ऑफ यू वो आर यू नॉट गोइंग टू डू कर दिया ना रिकॉर्ड कंपनी एंड बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली नैप्टर हैड टू शट डाउन बिकॉज द फर्स्ट इनोवेटर वो होता है ना कि बगावत में जो पहले भागता है उसको गोली लगती है बाद में ऑफ कोर्स इट हैपेंस एंड दैट पर्सन इज अ मार्टियर बट समबडी हैज टू बी विलिंग टू बी दैट मार्टियर एंड इवन इन द स्टार्टअप सिस्टम पीपल हैव बीन द मार्टियर्स इन दैट या 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 दैट इट हैज हैपेंड लाइक इन इन फैक्ट इफ यू लुक एट इन अ कंट्री ईकॉम और डी टू सी अगर आप देखो तो देयर सो मेनी मार्टियर्स सो मेनी मार्टियर्स कीप टॉकिंग अबाउट एंड देन इट्स इज गॉन आई डोंट इवन वांट टू नेम देम बट इट्स जस्ट वी ऑल नो पहले क्या एड्स आती थी क्या करते थे और अब it just as different and as to the heroes of today which we see they were not the first innovators not at all and sometimes they they learned from the first guys uh, or they, they didn't make yeah. the same mistake and they didn't make the same mistakes yeah. correct and there's, there's a lot of i mean with lot of stuff there's a lot to do with timing as well absolutely timing is everything uh-huh. timing is sometimes you are just like at the right most of the times you are at the right place at the right time and you are there when it took off like infosys yeah. took off 1991 infosys was there ready when india opened yeah. up and allowed you know pehle varna ek export lc karne ke liye you know 45 It days did. lagao infosys was there when the de- the liberalization happened but just took, completely took, changed completely the way completely changed the world yeah 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 in fact there's a with the startup context peter thiel says this that don't chase for a bigger market like don't be i don't look at the tam टोटल एड्रेसेबल मार्केट में देखता ही नहीं हूँ कोई सेंस नहीं बनता क्योंकि आज का मार्केट कोई रैंडम नहीं है आई केयर अबाउट एन इंडस्ट्री विच इज ग्रोइंग जिसका टाइम बहुत बड़ा होगा क्योंकि जो ग्रो होते जा रहा है उसके साथ साथ अगर वो थाउजेंड एक्स बढ़ गया तो तुम टेन एक्स ट्वेंटी एक्स तो बन ही जाओगे बिकॉज वो पूरा ग्रो हो गया पूरा ग्रो हो रहा है करेक्ट अगर तुम थाउजेंड एक्स में ऑलरेडी अब टेन एक्स बनने की कोशिश कर रहे हो तो नहीं हो गया बिकॉज समबडी द रीजन इट्स थाउजेंड एक्स बिकॉज समबडी हेज मेड इट थाउजेंड एक्स करेक्ट right absolutely so that's and i really like that analogy ki market nahi hai jo ban raha hai uske usme kudo yeah that's what uber did that's what google did that's what i think apple did all of these people did this pain points you're also looking at something is a big pain point people movement has already started sustainability movement has already started anybody know who takes off carbon ho ya uh, uh, nfts i mean these are all movements which are there so you are riding the wave hmm. it's always easier to ride the wave and be the good surfer than tra- try to swim against it and say well mai ek mushkil hota hai people may but uh, rare. difficult very rare very rare but uh, give me uh, give me a quick your note on CEO this ceo ho gaya tha hamara like you want to move to that we will come down to that i just want to for a thread what do you feel starting a business in a trend is more like should be the 
logical thing to do or starting a business in something which you are passionate about or fundamentally it speaks to you is more important yeah i think this is always a dilemma saying tailwind hai already na uh-huh. wahan pe kar lo you know uh-huh. rising tide will lift all ships yeah yeah, uh, yeah. wala versus you know i am the contrarian sab log left ja rahe hain main akela right ja raha how do you do that at is my simple angle there is you know opportunity is where passion meets pragmatism okay what do you mean by that so, go deeper on it passion mujhe ye karna hai you will never be good at something you don't like hmm. okay so you cannot be forced to like something because it is a trend kya re boss wo bada trend hai but you are not passionate about it you are not passionate about fitness so fitness revolution ho raha hai people will do keto people will do gym ye cult fit jo bhi hai wo you are not passionate to wo dikhega authenticity nahi hai tumhari yeah. to if you going back tum story kaise banaoge तुम कैसे उसमें विजन अपना करोगे जब तुम पैशन नहीं हो सेकंड इज प्रैगमेटिज्म ओके आई थिंक वॉरेन बफे और आई थिंक इट्स वॉरेन बफे वो सेट दिस कि मार्केट्स कैन रिमेन इरैशनल लॉट लॉन्गर देन हाउ मच योर वॉलेट विल अलाउ यू टू सस्टेन ओके सो प्रैगमेटिज्म में तुमको वो भी थोड़ा देखना है कि भाई मैं अगर टुडे फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई बिलीव फॉर वट रीजन आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग दिस अ पॉइंट कि Uh, I don't want to do sustainability. मैं कुछ और ही ये करना चाहता हूँ कि से टोबैको आई वॉन्ट टू नाउ स्टार्ट अ टोबैको कंपनी पीपल आर सींग की सिगरेट्स नहीं मुझे वही करना है आई एम वेरी पैशनेट बट आई हैव टू बी प्रैगमेटिक कि सींग हाउ आई मै गोइंट टू सेल दिस विजन द बेस्ट इन्वेस्टर्स आर गोइंट टू से बहुत सस्टेनेबिलिटी ई एस जी माई एम्प्लॉयज हु मे स्मोक दम सेल्स बट दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी प्रमोटिंग लंग कैंसर एंड सो ऑन people are putting companies on blacklist and red list and also i may believe that tobacco is the biggest generator of revenues because mm. alcohol and tobacco vices from a government standpoint why don't we make it zero yeah biggest it is never revenue. a revenue it's always us may the biggest uh, uh, thing is you know us may the number one cause of death is gun violence ya yeah, to police ke galti se gun fire hoti hai ya koi school mein jaake gun leke uh, ak 47 tak leke jata hai why don't they ban it completely no because the nra is a very very powerful lobby they have their reasons they have the second am- amendments everything but taxes alcohol tobacco these are all the biggest tax generators and revenue chahiye na if you make them zero personal income tax will go up and how many people pay personal income tax in mm. the first place so you need the right balance this is not a easy um, fix so to coming back to your point i have to be pragmatic jahan yeah. main start karna chahta hu wahan pe Are there enough of a trend line? I don't want it to be overcrowded space. Yeah. Overcrowded ने मतलब सब लोगों ने race खत्म कर ली मैं अभी चालू करने में मैं warm up कर रहा हूँ तो दो point ही नहीं है मतलब you are too late to the party. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You need to know कि has the party started? Is the party in full flow कि अभी खत्म होने जैस घर जा रहे हैं तो मैं अभी पहुँच रहा हूँ वहाँ पे mm. वो gut feel होती है. Also what happens sometimes is is it your main thing or is this a second thing that you are doing because if it's your main no you definitely need you are you are putting a lot of eggs into that basket yeah from an investor standpoint it's a different thing because what investors do portfolio hota hai unka they will back three things which are going to be part of that tailwind one or two things which are going to be completely contrarian yeah because tailwind mein usko pata hai ki kuch na kuch 3x return to aayega 6x to aayega 1000x wo contrarian mein se aane wala hai तो कॉन्टेरियन को भी फंडिंग मिलेगी बट प्रोबेबिलिटी लेस एंड देन इट डिपेंड्स देन एट दैट टाइम इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द फाउंडर कंप्लीटली ऑन द फाउंडर उसकी अगर पैशन है ना तो वो पुल ऑफ करेगा बट उसकी पैशन नहीं है तो वो पुल ऑफ नहीं होगा सो यू नीड राइट कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ पैशन एंड प्रैगमेटिज्म वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग यू नो एंड आई कैन थिंक ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स इन बोथ द फील्ड ओके बिकॉज वी वर जस्ट टॉकिंग एंड देवर टेक टू नेम पॉप्ड अप सो वॉर एन बफेट से दिस Warren Buffett said that ki I will never back the founder I'll back the market because his his way of saying yeah. is he's like you can change the founder you cannot change the market so f- focus and invest in the companies which are in the right market operating in the right way founders can be replaced correct right that's yes. v- Warren yeah. Buffett and he's made significant wealth in life Phenomenal. and then there's another guy Peter Thiel Peter Thiel Peter Thiel says that I'll back the founder I don't care because this person will be the contrarian. He will make his own way, and he will serve against the wave also. And he'll find it if he has the like potential Correct. to do it. He do it, and they both are significant. Absolutely. So both the ways work. 
thing is but but also remember that Warren Buffett a does primarily listed hmm. large cap okay and he stays invested for 20 years 25 years in coke so he he just doesn't budge cuz he says yeah. markets may go up down ek bar maine bet le liya so it's going to be through what and it's listed yeah peter thiel doesn't do listed entities no, he no, is no. backing very early stage he's backing concepts yeah. he's backing concepts and he is willing to wait for the founder to really and he's like earlier the better yeah so it's a very different stage in early kis kis mein na business to 50 bar pivot hoga peter thiel knows that ki yeah. if the founder is right and see again there is a very interesting thing which i have found in my own personal angel investing is if somebody has given up a very high paying job ab wo kar raha hai na kitna hi matlab unless the guy is crook or he gets every bet of his wrong to kuch na kuch to bana hi lega because opportunity cost for that founder personally is very high very high very the investor you are only you are not investing like 100% of your net worth टू परसेंट भी नहीं डाल रहा है तुम उसमें वो बेचारा अपना पूरा टाइम नेटवर्क पर्सनल क्रेडिबिलिटी सब कुछ डाल रहा है उसमें तो वो ही विल मेक समथिंग बिकॉज इज अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट इज फेलियर का ये बहुत हाई है और वन एन दफे ही इज लाइक लुक ये नहीं है तो और सही आई एम गोइंग टू स्टे बैकिंग दिस कंपनी आई विल कीप चेंजिंग फाउंडर्स आई गॉट द मार्केट राइट बिकॉज दैट्स वेरी सीज द मार्केट कैन रिमेन सो ही इज बैकिंग लाइक मेगा ट्रेंड्स पीटर डिल इज नॉट ही इज लाइक फाउंडर विल फिगर आउट अ वे broadly that's why the referencing forensics chemistry will the founder really will i be able to yeah. help the founder will you listen to me yeah bahut important cheez bahut 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 one more ke liye ya dekho performance deliver kar rahe ho na i am not interfering performance nahi deliver karoge or time after time so it's a very different philosophy because they are very diff- they they invest into very different asset classes i love it i love how you give context to everything and it makes so much sense if you if you actually look at Peter Thiel is kind of a carrier who drops his founders to to a yeah. position where Warren Buffett can even look into it. Absolutely, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you're right. From zero to Absolutely. ten, he takes it, and then ten to Warren is like, okay, maybe, maybe not. Warren is never going to look back to zero. He's never going to be the carrier. He's always going to. Peter be Thiel is willing to take the risk of saying, I don't understand the business fully, yeah. but I understand the trend. I understand the person. Yeah, Warren Buffett will. Never do that. Never do something which he doesn't understand really, really well. He's like, "What's your trends can come and go? Uh, mm. This this uh, stock Coca Cola yeah. will continue because people will still need uh, <laughs> yes. drinks, or Amex will still be uh, required." Yeah. And still, that's why he's he's uh, like you know he's missed like a couple of opportunities of like Apple. Of course, he'll he miss. Was, he was so late in Apple, and he says that like I was late about Apple because he never believed in it. He's like, I never believed in it. I got, I got, and. You know there was one interesting fact about I Peter Thiel I found out the Thiel fellowship yeah i know yeah right it's crazy the guy is funding school students to not go to college yeah. and build something he's like yellow boss tum paisa lo college mat jao tum kuch badhiya kamao don't let universities interfere with your education Correct. that's what is premise so, of his investing like jack dorsey all the dropouts yeah. who have become yeah, ditesh agrawal oyo then your ethereum ka founder vitalik uh, yeah. vitalik buterin correct, and then all of them. like everybody became yes. hey, all his bets are like no and i think he basically his philosophy is conventional education and group think will yeah. spoil a gem yeah yeah uh, and your thoughts and your uh, i think peter thiel understands this thing this teenage years where you are going to college and where you are being molded to fit in into society he says no disruption will happen from people who are not fitting in Hmm. they are sticking out ki yaar ye kuch to random kar raha hai ye kuch bhi aggressive hai but those are the gems which he is backing yeah okay i've understood one thing in my life i don't know maybe tomorrow i can be wrong but today i've understood that every human being we all develop a gut feeling or a way of doing something hmm. which works out right for us okay we don't necessarily know how this works out right but we just know the how to do it right mm. for example it can be just about picking the right podcast guest it mm. can be just about asking the right question it can be just about hiring the right person you don't know the real reason behind it but just because you've done it over or maybe external factors are so many you just know for you what works correct right? and how organizations are built how do you take that one thing which is your gut feeling or which works for you into a process which can be replicated by 20 more people that is how organizations are built mm-hmm. because there's a ceo or there's a sales person who comes and sells but if he wants to build like 500 people sales army to do the same kind of thing he need to extrapolate the entire that one minute mein usko kya chalta hai dimag mein in a process of 10 days and then give that playbook to somebody else and that's what you have to do so that's what i keep doing optimizing for that 
like i found out for example there were like two three things which worked out well for me that's why maybe we grew that's why people love us that's why people watch this i was like what is that thing i'll spend endless nights and hours what is that thing i'll i'll extrapolate i'll put that i'll put that entire process once i've built that process and playbook i try to hire right people and give that playbook to them Definitely. and then if for six months without me they're able to give me the same growth wow then i'm like it's done now what's the next thing for me because now i've given the playbook of something which i knew which i yeah. could do it nicely there are 20 more people who could, who could do it nicely and if if they are willingly like they are hungry enough they will train another 200 people wow. right so i'll be replaceable i'll get replaced in like another 6 months so for me it gets very important to evolve into a new thing which again becomes a next big thing for me to solve it like in next 3 4 years which will give me a leverage to understand something in one minute and again then extrapolate the process wow i think you reminded me of two very phenomenal uh, things first one was you know howard shells starbucks he said look he used to now i don't know now but earlier he said i would want and everybody in the senior leadership should go and be a server mm-hmm. uh, in uh, the shop because yeah. unless you know that environment you can never whichever leadership position doesn't matter jana hi hai and many companies have taken that and said was day in the field pingan uh, not pingan sorry uh, yeah pingan so jessica tan is the uh, pingan one of the largest chinese uh, insurers and life insurance and all and even she what she does is pingan has a lot of call centers and like china scale is always like 20000 200000 2 million so some gazillion number of people so look i spend a day like just at the call center because i know my first port of call is all of those guys so and, mm. and they don't know i'm listening but i listen and sometimes you know what i said i also join and participate and be the customer service representative because mm. then i know and if i'm doing it three more people will do it yeah. they do it then more people will do it so that's how i'm saying like, you are setting the thing and i know the customer i have to do it but then everybody else then follows and how i'm replicating yeah. it uh, let's just disseminate the entire startup okay you tell me what are the most important functions on the broader perspective for a good startup to run and effectively and the functions what i mean like there can be sales there can be marketing there can be operations what are the like top 7 or 8 what do you feel like how the organization is divided i'm talking about from the startup point sure, of view sure. kyunki corporate mein to hazar hote hain hazar hote hain it's very difficult very small company people are just getting started what all they should need to be like ki there has to be journalists but specialist kis kis ke liye hone chahiye correct correct so you definitely on the tech side and tech can include digital analytics data development there's a tech yeah domain uh, if you may and you sometimes include product in it sometimes it's it depends on the nature of the startup but mm-hmm. there is a tech which is for sure there there is somebody who has business revenue growth okay and that business may have back end in it or not but it depends on size and scale but there is a dhanda dhanda ho raha hai dhanda aa raha hai okay nahi paisa aa raha hai paisa aa raha hai ki nahi product ja raha hai ki nahi and you can do that and there is something which has often times separated is customer Hmm. Okay, it could be customer support, customer care, delight. It could be customer analytics and so on. But and then there is all the control functions hmm. because you will need admin. But the yeah. office can't buy it. Now, it's a contract. And then admin may legal will come, finance will come, something else will come because annual report will have to be made. So there is a control function. So tech. Essentially, you have a tech, you have a business, you have customer. Uh, customer can have like My user product. experience and all of those things, and you have control functions. That to me would be the Okay, and Main. if you look at these functions, सबका primary context is, I feel like सबको बस एक good problem solver होना चाहिए because there are like fundamental yeah. problems at the edge. Like it's not like very, if you look at it in today's world, this is a common joke between me and my co-founder. I say this, कि ऐसा एक बस किसी भी चीज़ की ज़रूरत नहीं है hard core, क्योंकि जिसकी ज़रूरत है वो उसके चीज़ को तो कोई app बना के छोड़ चुका है. <laughs> Great point, yeah. <laughs> right. So that's the thing. Great point. We need. analytical thinkers we need problem solvers who can approach a particular problem and solve it correct right? so that's why that's why the range concept works out really well yeah. that you need a generalist in a world of specialists so sab ko hona thi but kuch i feel the fundamental things to sab mein hona chahiye one of them is creative thinking one of them is problem solving the other thing is and uh, first principles thinking so bahut yeah. sari cheeze hoti hai correct so how do we develop problem solving skills or analytics wow so i think there are some f- 
schools of thought about problem solving fundamentally so for example there is a socratic method of problem solving mm-hmm. which is ask questions mm-hmm. so you say customer is not happy why product is not reaching on time why root cause analysis uh, root cause so it then distills into many things but you are just asking why, why? who what why why you go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper so it's like deep it dive into it but it is always a i don't know the answer to that you may also not know the answer to it but i am just pushing 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 to say kyun nahi ho raha discover karte hai then you may say information nahi hai leke aao but essentially you are just going the socrates used to solve most problems that way and that has given rise to various tools from the socratic style so that one tool is like issue tree okay, okay. we want to disrupt the car industry okay issue 1 what is the current problem in the car industry what have others done about the problem so far what are other industry learnings we can do so you can just draw an issue tree and keep going deeper and deeper into it the root cause rca method the triaging method the fishbone jo uh, diagrams hai all of them are actually a function of socratic school of thought okay, okay. one uh, method but there is a different method which edward de bono basically i think pioneered i have not seen anybody else before him do that but i'm just attributing it to him when he said you know the six hats of thinking six hats hats, okay. hats. he said whenever you are a problem solver na six hats hai koi bhi problem ki na pehli hat hai white facts tumhare paas agar facts hi nahi hai na to hum problem kaise matlab hame tum bol rahe ho ki nahi nahi ticket book karte hai hum booking.com pe karenge ki make my trip karenge ya kaise karenge अरे नहीं टिकट परसों की करनी है कल की करनी है अगर हमें पता ही नहीं है जाना कहाँ है लेट्स गेट ऑल द फैक्ट सो द फर्स्ट हैट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एसपाइडोडिजम इज अ व्हाइट हैट व्हाइट इज अ प्लेन कलर ना व्हाइट कैनवास पे आप कुछ भी ड्रॉ कर लेट्स गेट द फैक्ट्स क्लियर इज इट योर ओपिनियन दैट दिस इज हैपनिंग और इज देर अ फैक्ट बिहाइंड इट बिकॉज ऑफन टाइम्स पीपल कन्फ्यूज कि आई थिंक वी आर विनिंग थिंक आई फील कट फील है नहीं क्यों है यू नो नारायण मूर्ति का है ना कि यू नो इन गॉड वी ट्रस्ट एवरीबडी एल्स नीड्स टू गेट डेटा गॉड में भरोसा करेंगे बाकी सब लोग डेटा लेके आए तो फैक्ट्स विथ ग्रीन सो व्हाइट स्कूल देन द नेक्स्ट हैट ही सेज इज ग्रीन ग्रीन इज द कलर ऑफ फ्रेशनेस अपॉर्चुनिटीज लेट्स बी व्हाट आर द न्यू थिंग्स ग्रीन बताओ व्हेन वी आर एंड व्हेन एडवर्ड डी बोन व्हेन वी आर वेयरिंग द ग्रीन हैट नो वी डोंट अप्लाई थिंग्स लाइक इज दिस इवन पॉसिबल नो पॉसिबल गलतियां क्या है वो नहीं सोच रहे अभी हमारी ग्रीन हैट ऑन है व्हाइट हैट थी जब हम फैक्ट कर रहे थे अभी हम पॉसिबिलिटीज सिर्फ पॉसिबिलिटीज न्यू आइडियाज वी आर जस्ट लेट्स पुट न्यू आइडियाज टू द टेबल सो ग्रीन हैट वॉट इफ आई फ्लाई वाला सिचुएशन वॉट इफ यू कुड डू दिस वॉट इफ यू हैड नो कंस्टेंट लेट जस्ट डू ग्रीन हैट ओके देन इज आवर फेवरेट हैट हर एक की जो हैट होती है ना फेवरेट हैट होती है आई वॉन्ट टू जनरलाइज फॉर अ कंट्री ऑन एथिंग बट ब्लैक हैट प्रॉब्लम्स that's the style where you say devil's advocate yeah okay let me differ with you let me challenge you on this i think there are these three things wrong yeah galtiyan to hum pehle dekhte hain na chand mein bhi daag hai so it's so the black hat th- but black hat is a very important hat yeah if you just have possibilities ideas facts things will go wrong hmm let us figure out what are the, what things can go wrong there's the black hat then he says red hat concerns what will people think what it's not about what will go wrong it's about concerns fears its emotions red kab hota hai dar to lo ki the aag babula red so even emojis are also like you know red okay. it could be like extreme emotion so what are the emotions involved in it hmm okay then there is a blue hat and there is a yellow hat i'm not getting because i never but the point i was oh, so there's a edward de bono where edward de bono says no socratic method was a lot about logic okay and logic is a very important tool so lots of tools are about logic but he says logic will not solve and should not solve all the problems mm. you should use possibility thinking you should use concerns fears emotions uh, you should use all other facts because socrates was not concerned so facts aayega kahin to kahin baad mein yeah okay so he was so that's a second another school of thinking and many people you will see is over time become very good in certain hats so we will see some of the founders are very good in possibilities kyun nahi ho sakta yaar tod denge change kar yeah, denge yeah. don't tell me all these these are all restraints and shackles and constraints i don't want all of those but you need to put those 
that's how you will spar i know edward de bono's point was the way to problem solve is either a given problem everybody wears the same hat at the same time right now please keep your concerns out of the room when we are looking at concerns let's not look at facts mm-hmm. it's a facts are not saying my product is not doing well it's okay some people feel the product is not doing well let's understand the feeling level pe ye bhi iq level pe nahi chal raha hai ye eq aur uske level pe chal raha hai ki ye kuch to gadbad hai let's let's behavior. go let's behavior emotion let's get into it okay and that's what he and he said everybody wear the same hat or he said in a room assign roles sab assign roles hat de sabko deliberately ek ek hat de do and he said sometimes you give the strongest hat to that guy jo uski style hai और डेलीबरेटली जो क्रिटिक कर रहा है ना ब्लैक हेड डाल रहा है उसको बोला नहीं तुम ये ब्लैक हेड मत डालो तुमने बहुत कर दिया अब तुम ना ग्रीन हेड डालो तुम ग्रीन हेड डाल के दिखाओ मुझे कि हाउ टू व्हाट विल यू डू विद दिस प्रॉब्लम अनदर स्कूल ऑफ थॉट अनदर स्कूल ऑफ थॉट देर इज अ थर्ड स्कूल ऑफ थॉट विच इज वॉट वॉज पायनियड इन मिलिट्री सी आई एंड ऑल विच इज सिम्युलेशन एंड वॉर गेम्स ओके doesn't matter what the facts are let's assume we go down the school of thought hmm. let's simulate it that's what war gaming is humne ye kar diya to usne wo kar diya to usne wo kar diya now the resources of military resources of spy agencies they are phenomenal resources so yeah. you cannot compete with uh, those because their defense budgets no? uh-huh. can be limitless they can simulate they will actually demo ye karke dekhte hai what will be the reactions of different people geopolitical analysis kya hoga but companies also do that see what if this happens let's assume we've done this war gaming we play a role you are the my competitor you are my customer what would you do if xy now let's take it to the next level ye ho gaya tumne bhi aisa kar liya profit pool ka kya ho gaya market kya ho gaya it's a very different uh, kind of thing sometimes you will allocate resources to people so ki ab khel ke dikhao ye war game you yeah. are forcing people you are creating war games and that's also you know all many of these games what are people also doing you know when you get into a game you are actually simulating some of this and people the military has been very smart and if we are building up our naval base here some countries what will happen 3 years from now mm-hmm. bases will continue what is so using all the information and data you are simulating the future and then you are working backward from it say seven different scenarios ye scenario to mere liye galat disaster hai i ye ho sakta hai iski 10% probability how do i maximize the probability This is almost like this multiverse, yeah, yeah. Spider-Man <laughs> oh, theory and saying, "Yeah, multiverse. Me, yeah, hora. Is me, yeah, hora. Let's uh, change it." But but that's what war gaming is all about. That's what simulations are all about. It's a very Damn. different school of problem solving. Damn, it's a you. You know, you gave me such a like. You gave me to just solve any problem in such a specific way. Okay, I don't know whether if this prob like every problem will get solved this by this or no, but it just sounds so because yeah. it gives me so many different perspectives about just one thing which I was yeah. looking at just from one lens. Yeah, and then you can it may never solve the full problem, but what it does, no, initial jo time hota hai na to get to a certain because many of the times you have a judgment on what the real answer is. Mm. You just need either confirmation, validation, challenge, yeah. and so on. you can sh- the fast track that process yep fast track that process i don't know what what also would happen in this is sometimes as a leader or as someone who's a data person they feel that they know everything yeah and in this process you're just you're just being open for everybody to participate and challenge your yeah. notion absolutely like you can in fact in you the same way if you feel like you're the one who has all the answers wear the green hat and give someone else the black hat and just Correct. understand what goes on Correct. or just reverse the roles so that's why the process of problem solving is mm-hmm. as important because if the guy who if the junior most person actually is a talented guy but you never create an atmosphere and environment where you say boss tu hota kon hai mm. how many years have you been in the company i've been running this business for 20 years come on okay if you create that so you need to create so that's why read alio Hello says boss I want criticism and challenge to my ideas should come from anybody hmm. you challenge me I will not take it badly later on you say no I felt it I was thinking about it then I will just really butcher the person because pata tha na tumhe to bataye kyun nahi but it says the it's on the leaders to create that culture can prob- can we have effective problem solving or not 
Because yeah. the best way not to have problem solving is to call for lots of meetings, create sub committees. Problem will never get solved. People will be busy doing lots of things, lots of document, lots of PowerPoint, lots of Excel. Phenomenal. Everybody will, you know, it's called MAFA, mistaking activity for achievement. बहुत काम कर रहे हैं मिस्टे एक्टिविटी चल रही है अचीवमेंट क्या हो रहा है दैट्स वाई द फास्टेस्ट यूज बेसिकली से रूम बंद कर देंगे डिसीजन विल वी विल नॉट गो आउट ऑफ द रूम टिल द डिसीजन इज सॉल्व टॉयलेट ब्रेक भी नहीं देंगे दैट्स टेकिंग इट टू एन एक्सट्रीम बट बट समटाइम्स द टफेस्ट नट्स टू क्रैक विल बी क्रैक वेन एवरीबडी इज अंडर टाइम प्रेशर वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड दिस गेट मी टू अ क्वेश्चन लाइक वाई डू यू फील Okay, so you have this school of thought, and you're very, very articulate about how to solve problems. And I'm sure you must have seen a lot of people who you must have hired yeah. that they are exceptionally good at problem solving. And there are a lot of people who are not. No matter how many things you do, it yeah. they're they're good at other things. They're not good at like approaching core problem solving. Solving. Core yeah. problem solving. Like, why do you think like what's the difference between some people who are good problem solvers versus people who can't solve problems? I think the biggest difference is I would say openness. Okay, openness to admit that I may not know this. I may not know this. I mean, I am twenty years, but possible, eh? Na, I may not know this, and am I willing to accept it mentally? I may not openly say, but am I willing to? Openness is the openness, and then the corollary of that is curiosity. Do I really want to know more and solve it in the best possible manner? Or I say three times it has worked for me in the past. Maybe fourth time, be chale gaya. Chhod do. And I think what it leads to, no, is. Biases. I think it's a very important. Yeah. Theory of I will come to this. Yeah. Go ahead. Because people who are not problem solvers have a bias. Sometimes the bias is a superman bias. It hasn't worked for seven people. मैंने कहा है ना. It's worked for me in the past. I will do it. Okay. And there are many types of biases which go into decision making and problem solving and decision making. But if I have, so for example, one of the biggest biases is loss aversion. कि yeah. अभी it's like saying कि you and I are very good friends. You trust me for most things. I know your preferences very well. मैंने एक मूवी देख ली दोपहर को तुम्हारी टिकट शाम की है एंड आई कम बैक एंड से यार राज बकवास मूवी है डोंट वेस्ट योर टाइम चार घंटे भी जाएंगे योर मनी टू गो देर एंड वॉट एवर यू इट इज अ वेस्ट डू इट एल्स वेयर मोस्ट ऑफ अल बी लाइक बॉस अभी टिकट खरीद लिया है ना अब जाने दो यार कितना बुरा होगा बट इट्स अ लॉस एवर्शन कंपनी इज वन से डिसीजन इज डन यू नो इट्स नॉट वर्किंग बट यू विल फ्लॉक द डेड हॉर्स यार कभी ना कभी तो हो ही जाएगा यार नहीं हो जाएगा बिकॉज यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू स्टॉप यू अभी सो मच एज गॉन इन इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट मनी इट्स लाइक आई हैव पुट माई नेम टू अ प्रोजेक्ट हाउ डू आई स्टॉप इट वेरी डिफिकल्ट सो लॉस एवर्जन बायस इट्स लाइक दैट्स वो आई एंड सिलेक्टिव हियरिंग आई हियर वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू हियर वेन आई एम ट्राइंग टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम सिलेक्टिव एमनिश या फैक्ट्स भी मैं देखता हूँ ना टू फैक्ट्स विच आई वॉन्ट आई विल यूज दोज टू सॉल्व दिस थिंग वॉट एवर आई डोंट नो दैट्स एन आउटलायर ये कहाँ का डेटा है अरे वो रीजन ही गलत है यार वो तो लास्ट ईयर लॉन्च किया था डोंट डू दिस दो नहीं 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 दैट्स एक्सक्लूड दैट आई डेंट लाइक आई रियली डोंट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ एंड वेन दिस एंटायर सेशन वेन फ्रॉम मी ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड पर्सपेक्टिव टू रोस्टिंग राज नॉट इवन ऐसा सेपरेट सेशन वी कैन डू बट नो I can't come on your podcast and say Raj. Let, let's start roasting. No, you started doing it. You were telling me because obviously not every time you go through this, but I feel as a human being when you're just trying to become and you uh, specifically when you come from a place where you have tried to understand and get in an industry where there were no precedents to follow, like you were trying to do everything by yourself, exactly. you tend to form certain biases, even though you would realize that hey, I'm very open. Hey, I am the best guy, and I I take like feedback from lot of this, and you would do that. You yeah. can't like, but there are certain times. I think let's say eighty percent times you're you're open and you're ready for feedback. Twenty percent times you have these biases, and then these are the biases which when people like you just come over and then tell us, it just haunting me right now. That fuck, why did I do that? What did I do? But and you just, know, biases are also not wrong. Okay, it is that you need to be aware About that there could be a bias because yeah. sometimes you have a proven model of success. So that will be a part of your bias because you know it's worked for me three times, boss. I mean, it's a success. Now, are you enlightened enough, aware enough, or you create a process where at least for a period of time, you no, know, you can be challenged on it. Yeah. Because otherwise, be and you know the it's ironic that the most successful people hmm. over time. 
start becoming bad at problem solving because you know they, it's always like saying every time i know i'm going to play tennis i always bring a tennis racket wo golf ball ko main tennis racket se marunga kyun but tennis hamesha i'm good at using a tennis racket for solving a problem i always so so that's that's the complication and because i'm so successful i know that this is the answer mm. i know this is the answer this is the way to operate this is the way and so in elon musk when he started tesla he one of his core things was don't get hire from the auto industry as far as possible he's like no auto industry wale ke mujhe wohi bolenge ki chassis itni hoti hai isni itni ki cost hai fir main kaise isko innovation karunga now of course a time will come when for the engine i'm not going to say boss let me hire a creative uh, guy from something no 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 uh, there is a there is a right balance but if i hear more and more from the same industry how am i ever going to innovate and what did he know about uh, cars and automotive right i mean he had a paypal and all of that uh, space it's like it's okay if you get the right kind of people together put the right problem solving frame in mind and the right governance for decision making then you see what happens damn damn i like this uh, because now you're giving me unknowingly or knowingly you're giving me lessons on hiring on mixing building the right mix of team not only just problem solving okay i want to like let, let's just go back to your sure. mckinsey journey sure okay so mckinsey journey and there's a question which i asked anant as well okay mm-hmm. he's like why what's the reason that uh, in india there are so in us there's one mafia called paypal mafia yeah in india there are two mafias flipkart mafia and mckinsey mafia yeah right and what do i mean by mckinsey mafia is yeah. all these people who are of course yeah, mckinsey yeah. people they all went out went out and started their big ass businesses or are ceos in the best of the best companies absolutely. in the country absolutely right? what is the reason why there's like people like you there's people like anand there's ashish like yeah. what's the reason what is this thing about mckinsey which is which is building these kind of leaders earlier in india there is to be ceo factory should be used to be unilever unilever right everybody used to be unilever yeah. ended up becoming ceos of xyz xyz companies Correct. right now it's changing now there's flipkart mafia there's a start of founders of uh, mckinsey mafia there's the founders and the ceos why what is the reason so i think if you go back in india also i think you had unilever mm-hmm. the levers mafia png less so because png had a very good way of retaining people and you had the city bank <laughs> Okay. So all the banking guys used to be ex city bankers, and a lot of the FMCG pharma used to have the levers. Uh, okay. Because I think these companies teach you many things. Mm. Okay. Now, McKinsey alums have gone on across industries. Unlike levers or unlike city bankers, most city bankers or most ex ICICI guys would be the CEOs in different NBFCs and microfinance yeah, and so on. ICICI itself. because they learned a lot and you were groomed for leadership. Hmm. Okay now in McKinsey you were of course groomed but you were never groomed for sectors you were groomed for problem solving groomed for communication stakeholder management and now these skills are invaluable when it comes to going outside hmm. so and different people leave McKinsey at different stages i mean yeah. people don't some people stay on for long and it's a phenomenal institution i mean i have the you i spent 18 years uh, in McKinsey so i was almost a part of the furniture uh, there <laughs> and i really love but what McKinsey did was it said no problem is too difficult to solve okay. okay and i have worked in more than 65 countries so I, you land up in tanzania and you are working with a client you like you will instantly pick up because the basics of problem solving basics of communication basics of stakeholder management why are people thinking what they are thinking basics of influencing what you said earlier from the book of influence and so on stays the same around the world wherever you go you can go into argentina you can go into Africa you can go into the most developed financial markets of London where i uh, interact with most us you go to china the basics don't change and what mckinsey gives you is the confidence to say you know what problem doesn't matter mm-hmm. cultural context and national context doesn't matter you should be able to apply those same skills and mckinsey forces you to really work with different kinds of clients different countries so by the time you say you know what i think i'm confident you can work in any country you can work in any context and uh, you know you're on your own flipkart also flipkart did that in a slightly more localized e-com startup because flipkart was one of the earliest yeah and hence people realize what e-commerce is what does it mean to really have app and digital engagement and logistics sourcing so all of the elements of a product a tech platform logistics and supply chain management finance all of those for a 
class which is changing yeah was done by flipkart yeah yeah so it is rare to find flipkart ceos like in financial services <laughs> or you will you will not find them in outside india as much yeah but you find mckinsey guys the Maf- mckinsey mafia thing in india is there around the world it's there everywhere like us will have like fortune 100 will have like 30 ceos will be ex mckinsey the starbucks are also from mckinsey lakshman is also ex mckinsey you we'll say morgan stanley was ex mckinsey at some time you would had uh, so many And by the way i know you asked me a mckinsey question but globally if you look at consulting firms bcg bain we'll also have that so although i love mckinsey and i would say mckinsey has more uh, it is just that mckinsey has been in india longer than bcg and bain has okay so it takes time for people to actually that you know you have cohorts you need 10 years you have been then you leave mm. you do something so shantanu left after 6 years anand left after 15 years mm. navin tahiliani who is the ceo of tata aig left after 12 years so different people leave at different stages and we'll do phenomenal stuff whether they do their own companies be with larger companies and uh, do amazing stuff be an investor because mckinsey also teaches you to look at across industries so you'll have many investors yeah who will have uh, you know because investing is not yeah you need to specialize but you the problem solving financial modeling rigors of that you learn in mckinsey so how okay before i go to the next question i want to understand like how people who are normal they just starting up how can they get these kind of groomings is there a way for them to get groomed because it's you know i tell you earlier entrepreneur used to like entrepreneurship was out of situation now it's out of choice absolutely phenomenal point right phenomenal point so it was the, earlier like you would not you don't decide to become an entrepreneur now you decide i was like oh i want to do this i want to do that and that's why what is happening your the molding years when you Good actually point. get molded in a certain industry or somewhere hmm. those are eliminated completely so Correct. you're fresh absolutely so how do you get groomed because there's no way as long as we can debate but there are exceptions but if you look at the average and if you look at the probability people who have molded in xyz industry and they're excelled somewhere their chances of success in a new startup is much higher than a person yeah. who's just starting out right absolutely right there are exceptions of course there That's are fine, yeah. the zuckerbergs of the world the zeptos of the world or the oyos of the world they're all like exceptionally well absolutely yeah right but that these are exceptions apart from and they are also by the way they all are successful because if you look at the real reason why they're successful is that in a leadership team yeah you look at zeptos leadership team they they're so experienced people that like the they they groom those two boys right if you look at zuckerberg's uh, you know leadership team you look at oyo's leadership team you find out that so how a normal person can just get into this grooming because now we're yeah. choosing and same going back to your point how you said like passion right now people feel that that's their passion and because they like it they want to do it they because if because what they want to do they can't do anything else so it's very difficult for them to go start yeah. and be in mckinsey for 6 years and try to do this no i think see earlier as you rightly i mean there's a phenomenal thing you said is entrepreneurs or people who like 50s 55 you have made money you have a downside protection is there then you say okay let me not work for somebody else let me work for myself and yeah. you had many people who started entities uh, that way today risk taking has become a lot more acceptable you can get financed people other people will join you people other people will also look at you very differently yeah. earlier it was like are isko naukri nahi mili so you had like government jobs were the safest then you had private sector jobs with the tatas and birlas then you had new age companies then you have you know you join a startup and then yeah. you are like start your own startup yeah. after two three startup essence you can start your own thing so the ecosystem has played a very important role in what you said which is entrepreneurship by choice and as my first option and not as like ye nahi hua to nahi hua to nahi hua to nahi hua so i think it's a great thing now what founders can do is i think they need to be willing to learn some of these skill sets so i think they need to be aware ki i'm passionate about an area but there are a business needs like six other areas to come together yeah. okay now that can be through a team okay am i like complimenting myself because for a founder to learn everything is not even desirable and will not even happen yeah because you want the founder to stay special at what he or she is you don't want them to start learning law and bookkeeping yeah. and this and that that's not yeah it's nothing leave it to domain expert leave it to the domain expert also then you have mentors you know you will now have people who will say you know what you're doing something exciting let me help you so finding the right mentors being open and saying i need help 
you have investors investors also realize this that you know when a young founder you need to supplement and complement it so don't go for the check check i got in india i think founders today are in a great position where you know money exceeds entrepreneurship okay so you have lot more people chasing yeah okay so how do you select your cap table and so on you know select people who will also support you in different areas many firms have this you know they will have some grooming programs they will have some accelerator programs they will say by the way you know what back office some hum kar lenge firms have consolidated back offices for their investing companies because they don't want the founder to now run around and find a tax firm and an audit firm and a legal firm and uh, you know admin for real estate and all so hum kar lenge yaar that don't want to value added activities so, so long as the founder is willing to create an ecosystem whether his his own team whether his own mentors his investors his personal advisors and then depending on some people also go and say look i want to take a course in x let me listen to a podcast or let me do a short course in either an online uh, university or some place and many my some, one of the founders was telling me he went to the us and he heard from like 10 different phenomenal individuals singularity university is there where many founders go and for two weeks and so on so i think the founder has to be open to know what he or she does not know and willing to ask and get help because if you say nahi help me chahiye main sab kuch kar lunga wo hoga nahi aur wo karna bhi nahi chahiye it's the worst return on that founder's time hmm fair now what do you uh, again like another question of the same thread as a if you're talking about mckinsey mafia we're talking about founders and what they learned in mckinsey and stuff right what do you think what are the like what are the top 3 things you have learned in mckinsey i think problem solving very clearly no, i want okay. to like go deeper i want to oh, okay. know about like the mental models or something because i feel like okay. mental models are as something which you operate on and that is the reason one of the one of the biggest reasons why people are successful in their journeys right sure. we talk about the the broader perspective let's say problem solving but uske andar ek model hoga which was a hat model which you said six Fair hats right like something like that so everybody has that it can be creative thinking it can be approaching it can be multiple things sure so i think uh, i think within problem solving i think the issue analysis okay uh, how do you analyze issues and and how do you use a combination of facts numbers primary research secondary research uh, creative collisions so experiments okay so it could be experiments with real consumers experiment in test cases design thinking simulation so the the analysis of issues what are the all the tools that you can actually throw to make sure your issue tree analysis issue trees are a very very common thing which everybody in mckinsey will uh, say okay and at any given point of time you need to have an answer Okay. Okay. You know whatever you know about a problem, but we were always told that you are in a room and the company's the client CEO walks in and he says he has only ten seconds or thirty seconds and says, "So, Toshan, what's the answer?" You should be able to tell him. Abhi tak ka jo bhi answer. So you are constantly you are synthesizing. Hmm. You are summarizing. What do I know? End of the day, I have three more days to solve the problem. I have one more week, but based on whatever I know today, whatever is my analysis today, if I have told to. tell the answer and execute it what is my answer hmm. because sometimes things change you have to say boss aaj karna hai parso ka launch nahi boss kal karna hai kal what will your answer be so i was always trained to saying ki if i have one month i will use one month to formulate the best answer but even on day 2 day 2 ya day 1 ko bhi hame bola jata tha ki boss hypothesis kya hai answer ka he said boss day 1 pe answer yes end of day 1 tumhe answer hona hi chahiye it may be 10% accurate 20% accurate but over time accuracy will build up let perfection not be the enemy of good them so that was a very important thing the second thing which is not a you no know, it would be like communication may clarity of thought drives clarity of communication okay. don't worry about communication are you clear in what you want to communicate okay tumhe agar pata hi nahi hai kya communicate karna hai to you know your analogy story wo sab nahi hoga but be very clear and you should always you would be told at the end of a meeting or end of a presentation imagine teen saal baad why would people remember that meeting and all of us remember a conversation a meeting and that made it memorable so what is it that you are going to communicate today which one year later people will remember are you clear about it okay that's the second thing i was told and the third thing is not a mental model 
it was like a survival model i would say in mckinsey okay. because we were always traveling we were always like going from meeting to shower conference next flight and train and this and that so it was a very thing it was like eat while you can sleep while you can shit while you can it's a very sounds very crass but it was like you know balance your eating you know pata hai ki because you can you know people burn themselves out no eat sleep okay people would like you, you are working across time zones okay how will you and even today you know i have to work across time zones a part of my job teams in america teams in brazil teams in india teams in china sleep is so important and then bodily functions because that's the worst thing that can hit you and you were always told guys you have to manage because nobody is going to come and manage it for you yeah okay because you are in the and adrenaline is the worst enemy you know when you are going gung ho project ye wo you don't realize the harmful effects of things and it's all life is a marathon it's not a sprint so in a marathon you need to have done your fueling hydration nutrition training all of that you need to pace yourself out for it and that's the key thing i learned ki mckinsey mein you have to pace yourself pace yourself is very important in every aspect of your life every because that whether you're in mckinsey whether you're not whether you're a startup founder a content creator or just a regular guy who is hunting for colleges or maybe going yeah. to jobs whatever pacing Absolutely. yourself is i think one of the most important things if you can master that you'll have a very good life and most of the people actually struggle to just pace their life according to what they need and what what they want absolutely because it's so difficult right okay <clears throat> like a basic qu- two three questions and then we can wrap this up okay so basic is like a why do people need consulting companies and because if they have like yeah. the exceptionally good teams yeah. right isn't it if like the first flaw of organization is your yeah. team is not good enough that you need an external help sure. right so why do they need it and when do they need it because there are a lot of i feel there are a lot of small business in india they are exceptionally good but in their regions in their areas and they're so good they are they are at a place where they can afford it where they can even yeah. afford a consulting firm they can they want to go beyond but they're stuck yeah. right they're stuck they don't know so i feel like when should sure. they get it and why do they need it so i think if you look at and consulting firm i'm just using management consulting as a thing yeah. because you management. have hr consulting supply yeah, chain management, management consulting. consulting see if you look at history of management consulting mckinsey was founded in 1926 at kearney also in like maybe 1930 bcg bain were i think in the 60s and 70s okay consulting has always fulfilled a certain arbitrage okay. need that is there uh, earlier it was like geographic arbitrage us companies ko pata nahi tha japanese kaise operate karte hai indian companies ko pata best practices of the west kya thi so you had geographic arbitrage you had people who said okay but somebody in brazil has already launched this uh-huh. isse hum startup mein aaj kehte hai na Uber of X and uh, Zomato of Y वाला जो फंड है कि somebody somewhere उसका हम ये copy कर रहे हैं modify कर रहे हैं जो भी कर रहे हैं but you did not know what was the best thing in that specific area function expansion and so on you also needed like if a company wanted to expand from US to Europe you needed somebody who would help you to understand the European market yeah. so geographic arbitrage was a very important reason for long time second thing became then a talent arbitrage consulting firms were hiring the best talent. who would go at a problem like a very sharp manner whereas you with the many of the large companies which hired consultants had people in their late 50s who would say look you know they were very set in their ways they would not go for data whereas these younger people who did not have the 35 years experience but would go data they would interview customers they would travel in the field and they would come back with what was a very very independent heart hitting perspective so you mm. had a talent arbitrage which would tell the top management the reality yeah which sometimes there were vested interest you did not want to understand reality or you did not have the time effort so that was the second third became information arbitrage because large companies often till the 90s and till internet and all became prolific you didn't even have information about many things yeah. what's the market share of x there what is the pricing there and consulting firms fulfill that need yeah information arbitrage over time what has happened is there is no geographic arbitrage remaining you know sitting over at your house what is happening where you can get all the information companies are hiring the same talent pool whether in india from the iits or iims or chartered accountants and best school so all of these three arbitrages are over yeah okay then what's remaining i think what is remaining is there is a 
still you know because internally sometimes you are not able to resolve problems okay so you say look we need somebody outside in to come and look at us and say guys what should we be doing because people have their biases a very important reason why consultants are and should be hired is you just feel you know we have all our biases ab aap independently bata humko kya karna mm-hmm. hai is a very valid reason yeah there is a not so good reason to hire also sometimes is you need a rubber stamp xyz ne bola hai na bas so i can act on it i don't want to take the tough decision mm. of firing you but i'm saying le liya hai maine okay that's the wrong reason to hire sometimes you know you also there, there are also sometimes investors needed you know you need an independent report but that is i i ignore okay. all of that so there is a, a reason of independence mm. sometimes yes your own team can do it in 6 months mm. but consultant who's done that thing three times over who has uh, you know who knows what companies are doing will get it done in 3 weeks so you save time and your resources are also very expensive so getting them out of their day jobs and putting them on a project outsource that thing mm. you will save time okay so that's a second reason why you would hire a consultant Today. if you feel time is saved or time of your precious resources is saved so hire a consulting firm yeah and third is many consulting firms are not just stopping at strategy they are saying hum execution kar denge if they can deliver it faster they may not may not deliver it better but often times a consulting firm cut across the organizational bureaucracy they can like get everybody together they can reach the ceo they can reach the chairman faster yeah. tumhare junior log bole ki boss meeting kaise set up kare to wo time jata hai usme so they can get it done faster hmm. so on the execution side also there are lots of advantages so there are right reasons to hire there are wrong no reasons, reasons to hire also and you need to figure out you know you need to make sure that you are hiring for the right reason then you make the consulting firm accountable for the results and not just like say it is their problem no whenever you hire a consultant they have a role to play final responsibility aapki hai very interesting okay tell me like when do they need it when as in like is it like i think there are some always turning revenue points revenue or a certain no 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 revenues and all are artificial cut out because of course some you cannot pay if you do not have that good revenue yeah. but consulting firms often do like 100% variable fee projects where they say ki fee will only come if sales have happened oh, aisa bhi hota hai but i think more than size there is a certain size where you will hire like a earns and young pwc versus you would hire a bcg mckinsey bain wo wo bhi hai size is an important threshold but i also think you will hire them at certain critical junctures okay where the, the cost of getting a decision wrong is very high okay ye karna hai ki nahi karna hai hame pata hai karna hai but let just make sure we have got everything right okay hire them at junctures where you have irreversible decisions to make very important thing because that's the time when you can hire them as an insurance and it's like an insurance policy was yeah i know but let me make sure i haven't left anything unturned or sometimes you hire a consulting firm because you don't want individual agendas to color your decision you say what is the right answer of course i will tweak it adjust it for my company but i cannot take the chance of individual bias hurting my answer fair those fair. two times those are the times yeah i like the i like the I like this answer. Like I think I I like the first point more when like yeah. higher the irreversible decisions. What yeah. decision when it's very difficult to do it? Okay. I wanted to touch the last topic of the day, and it's about building and scaling companies. Right. It's very because we the first call we had it was about you told me you know startup ban jata hai but scale tabhi hota hai the process the system saath mein right yeah. that's a and that's a, that's something I agree on and I believe in it because. obviously i've not been in a position where i had to scale it blitz scale it but i've seen a lot of people have read about a lot of yeah. startups right so how let's for a moment let's just stop thinking about fast growing startups okay okay let's start thinking about small businesses sure okay small businesses would be someone who must apna 50000 1 lakh 2 lakh 5 lakh 10 lakh kama raha hai per month correct every right there's a good small yeah. team there are no department there are no functions everything is driven out of one boy one guy one girl everybody is doing everything sure wo log sab apna badhiya chal rahe hain so what even they have aspirations to grow absolutely and the common the common reason when you ask them like why are you not growing faster why are you not doing this and that 
typically you will get to listen about three reasons number one boss i don't have that much capital okay there's like i don't have enough yeah. money to just like do xyz i don't have right resources there's like yaar ye talent hai na aise log to bahut mehenge aate hain ye talent aisa hota hai wo talent aisa hota hai right that is that is the second third is yaar itna sara kar raha hu mere paas time hi nahi aur kuch karne ka so lack of time lack of people and lack of money is usually what people give you the excuses of like how they want to grow but typically this is the excuse for large corporations also startups also everybody correct so i don't feel this should be an excuse what do you think like then what should people do in order to scale their business so i think the all of it begins and ends with the founder hmm. okay in this because if the founder has no ambition to wo nahi scale up karega wo khush hai there lot of people have crazy ambition but They're driven intent is different from ambition hmm See, Go deeper I on that. An, I have an intent. I want to scale up, but a problem is, you know, it's like you know, I, I I want to learn French. Okay, my ambition is to be a great French singer. So why are you doing it? No, yar, wo jo French teacher hai na, wo ek ghanta dur rehti hai. So why are you doing it online? You know, sometimes in our house, there is a lot of internet problem. Hoti hai, and you know, uh, the teacher's ka timing or my timing is not there. So Duolingo download why are you doing it? यार वो ऐप के वजह से ना एक्चुअली दैट्स दैट रियल फील नहीं आती वो लेसन की ओके सो देन वाई डोंट यू टेक लाइक वन मंथ गो टू फ्रांस एंड स्टे देर और गो टू पॉन्डिचेरी एंड वेर दे आर ऑल फ्रें नेटिव फ्रेंच इतना टाइम नहीं है यार वो फ्रांस आके क्यों ये करेगा अभी धंधा भी देखना है ना ये सो देन इंटेंट इज डिफरेंट नो फ्रॉम एम्बिशन मतलब एम्बिशन इज मीनिंग सिंग बॉस बिफोर डाइंग आई विश आई वुड हैव डन दैट कि आई एम गोइंग टू पुट एवरी थिंग एट स्टेक तो टाइम बन जाएगा You know, rather than like binge watching something, you know, people have worked like at nights and done it. There is no clock, uh, there is no watch, there is no time. What's time? What is time? Is an artificial concept, no? Yeah. Twenty-four hours was not God given. Sun yeah. rises, sun sets. Uh, you could have divided into forty-eight hours uh-huh. in a day. You deci- man decided to create a twelve-hour cycle. Yeah. So I have two hours in a day. What? No, no, no. You have a certain time. You choose not to do that. So why you say you have two hours? You could. S- I mean, as well say it as twenty hours. Time is an artificial concept. Yeah. Okay. So that's why when they say time, नहीं है मेरे पास बस कुछ सोने के पास time है ना खाने को time है ना क्यों मतलब और have you gone out? Have you really made the effort? So the founder has to change it in his mind. Saying one is ambition, second is you know I have the ambition. Am I putting the hard work? Hmm. Okay. There's a famous uh, thing in the you know, African. safaris and when you few it's like when the sun rises in the african prairie you know the cheetah and the gazelle jo deer hota hai both of them have to get up in the morning and start running jaise suraj ugdega bhago kyun gazelle knows that if the gazelle does not run the cheetah will eat it so life ke liye bhagna hai cheetah knows if it can get up and run you have to stay hungry right. and die so whatever happens you have to get up and run that is not an excuse so you have to put in the work you to reach out find the founder you know the right talent work with them and see what it is if you fail then you can discuss nobody if you have never tried then how can you say ki mera ambition tha lekin mera try nahi kar raha hu main intent tha intent tha so you know this is again i we started with the socratic thing so i'll go back to a, so one young person many 2500 years back went to socrates and said socrates you know What is the secret of? I want to really be successful. Teach me success. I want success. So Akhil said, "Chalo, aaja. Tumko nadi kinare leke jaa raha hai. And you know, I want to be successful. What, what do I need to do? I want to be successful. Like I want to find a startup. I want to scale my startup. What do I do?" He said, "Relax, relax. I will teach you the secret of success." Then he was looking around. Let's see the scenery. Suddenly, Akhil just caught him from behind and put his head in the water. Yeah. He was gasping, gasping, gasping. One minute, one and a half minutes, two minutes. Suddenly he air air air. So what do you want? Air. You want success or you want air? He's like air air. Fuck success right now. I air. I want air. He says the time you will want success or you want something as much as you wanted that air. That is the time you will be successful. Yeah. That is the secret of success. So he explained it to me in a very poignant manner. So. If you are saying, you know, me, eat, drink, I don't want to disturb myself. I don't want to get rejected. Yeah. Big thing, no. I'm making you an offer. You, you reject me. Second person, yeah, ten, twenty people. I don't want to be rejected. Nii hoga na. You will be rejected forty times. Yeah. 
Yeah. So it's a, it goes back to the re- resilience because this is a quote I've also heard, but I heard it from some other guy. And the same thing <clears throat> about the Socrates is like, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, that's when yeah, you get exactly. successful. See, J.K. Rowling was rejected 29 times for her uh, first uh, Harry Potter Harry thing. No, 29 times rejection? I've never been, I will like nine times rejection be your boss. <laughs> you will go into massive depression yeah. and you will uh, therapy you, and so on. 29 times for a single mother trying to make ends meet in a London <laughs> one room uh, studio flat for her daughter. Kya hua hoga? 29 times creating the world's largest book franchise. Mm. Most successful 25 billion dollars plus <clears throat> oh, book. Ne ye kiya hai. But think of it, na, 29 publishers gade de kya? They were like most successful publishers, na? but tujhe kiya na? But usne haar nahi maani. So that's why she is what she is and others are who must have given up. Abhi. They're not. So, so many of those startups or so many writers will never have their stories told because they just didn't want success that desperately. Very interesting. Very, it's, it sounds very cliche, but that's the core of everything. It's, it, it is the core of everything. It is the core of like, do you want it bad enough or no? Yeah. No, okay. It, it's, Let's end the loop of the how we started, okay? And you were explaining about the agriculture. Yeah. You were explaining about role of UPL, and you were explaining about how, you know, the one of the biggest biggest mismanagement and happenings happen in the agriculture world, right? Where because we there's that we don't have a problem of food, we have a problem of food management. We have a problem of, and because of food management, we have problem of farmers management. But because of we have farmers management, we have problem of storage. Because of storage and goods, we have yeah. a problem of global health and climate climate change, correct, right? Correct. You're explaining me all of this. Go deeper on that. Tell me like what exactly you meant with that loop. So what I meant was, see, agriculture is so critical because food is critical. None of us can survive next to air and water. Okay, You need food. food. Okay. And... Uh, who grows the food? The farmers grow the food. Now think about a life of a small farmer. Like in India, sm- most farmers have one and a half acres. Brazil, my farmer will have 4,000 acres. Small farmer, okay? That's like the scale of difference. But all of them, many problems are exactly the same. Like, you know, you have counterfeit products being sold to farmers. Farmer has to buy stuff up front. When then he will repay pay the guy he'll repay the money lender repay the bank then have some stuff uh, left for him so 30 to 40 percent of the farmers net worth goes is tied up and then rainfall can happen or no rain can happen insects can come and eat it mice can come and eat it but when he goes to the mandi to sell the mandi guy may squeeze him because there is too much produce onions were phenomenal the price will gir jayega so what will he do? So he's very vulnerable. And I think that's why, the, you know, we should not forget that till 1700s, you know, wars were fought over food. Like that time there was food scarcity. Mm-hmm. Today we have food mismanagement. That's why we need all of these chains to become, like Super really efficient. go deep in this. But also agriculture generates 25% of the greenhouse gases globally. So if we do not, agriculture ko rok nahi sakte, to greenhouse gases to badne wale hai. We have solved the problem on the EV side. We have solved the problem on the renewables, clean energy side, green power, solar power. But 25% of the GHG gases are agriculture. Till we solve agriculture's problem, till we solve the farmer's problem, climate change is not going So, what is given is we need to keep feeding 8 billion people. What is very clear is climate change and agriculture will give out those gases. How do we help farmers to do carbon sequestration, for example? How do we reward the farmers for doing the right practices? We cannot increase the price of food. Boss, food inflation will happen, food will happen. The price of food will increase, and the price of onion price will increase. The governments get toppled over it. It's yeah. a front page issue. So you cannot, inc- consumer cannot pay more. Farmer needs more income. Planet needs lesser greenhouse gases. How do you solve that triangle? To me, that is a problem that UPL uh, is willing to uh, uh, solving, which is a problem which I am focusing a lot of my time to see how can you solve, how can you have carbon credits being generated? How can you make sure that the food value chain, the storage is being managed, you're using technology for all of it. And you have so many startups doing phenomenal stuff around the world where you are getting information, aggregating it and uh, delivering it. So something I really feel about it. The problem of agriculture is a problem which we've tried to brush away saying it's a farmer problem. No, no. We are the ones eating food. 
they are not do- doing it uh, you know to earn just income they are doing it because they have to feed us nobody is giving us nobody is we are thinking air bhai air nahi hai to theek hai matlab air god has given us or nature has given us we are not fighting for air water theek hai mil raha hai broadly we are we are okay but food tough is there any anything which we could do as a common person as an individual which where we are not directly linked to the food chain yeah. is there anything we could do two to things, make it better two things first never waste food on your plate please i think whatever food you take please don't waste it because the amount of it has so many people have worked hard in very high de- temperatures and worse conditions to put the food on your plate least you can don't waste food okay. and second whenever you see a ki- farmer you can see him in different places okay please uh, acknowledge the unsung heroes very interesting this is a deep conversation i really loved what we talked about and like so many topics you know in fact I thought that I'll I'll discuss a lot of startups with you. <laughs> I thought like I'll discuss fintech, I'll discuss edtech, and then I'll discuss so many things. Now there are so many topics I want to talk about. It's it's in insane. When are you free next time? Because we <laughs> definitely need to do part two. I told you this is one of the hidden gems of India, and I'm sure you must have realized it by now because ऐसी conversations रोज़ रोज़ नहीं मिलती क्योंकि ऐसे लोग रोज रोज ढूंढना बहुत डिफिकल्ट होता है एंड द काइंड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एंड द परस्पेक्टिव विच दे गिव यू अबाउट बिजनेस अक्रॉस डोमेन्स इज इन वैल्यूएबल एंड यू नो व्हाट्स इन वैल्यूएबल फॉर मी इज योर इंगेजमेंट योर लाइक योर कॉमेंट योर शेयर योर सब्सक्राइब एवरी is super super valuable for me so make sure that you do all of it and just share this episode with one person who can be benefited from this episode the most kyunki tumhe nahi pata ki ek idea can take you from 0 to 10 or maybe 10 to 100 or 100 to 1000 or million one idea can actually change your life it can be spark to your billion dollar journey as well so please share this with your friends your family members your strangers in fact your enemies as well let's help this country grow together by sharing the right information the right education and right perspectives with the people who have the power to change the nation